Good morning. Hi, everybody. How you doing? First off, happy Canada Day. It's very important. Congratulations, everybody, for watching some CanCon today. That's what you have to do. You have to go and support your favorite Canadian creators on Canada Day. The one day of the year. Do your part. <laughs> uh, otherwise, happy Saturday for those of you who don't celebrate. <laughs> Well, that's easy. Yes, all of you are already winning, but make sure you tell your friends. Not taking a little vacay to BC for Canada Day. Should have done it. Should have done it, but that's fine. Oh. Good morning. What's up, fellow divers? I love that. I'm actually really excited to check out Dave the Diver today. We had a, a very interesting, very back and forth uh, community vote to select this game between this and Forever Skies, which is the new kind of like Subnautica-like, like float float game. That's the best description I had. And Dave the Diver, it was kind of neck and neck the whole time. Uh, Dave the Diver always felt like it was slightly ahead and ultimately was the winner. So pretty stoked about that. You're listening to Holy Diver, it was a sign. Only a sign of Holy Diver is also Canadian. Otherwise, it's just a sparkling coincidence. <laughs> Man, all right. I, yeah. Let's play some video games, I guess. Neat. Uh, Smith, thank you for 44 months. Hope everyone is having a good day. I am, thank you. Anime Kitty, oh my god. 64 months, the full stack, thank you. I like that we're starting to get little little nicknames. Yeah, 52 is the full deck of cards. 64 is the full stack. Hey, good morning, Roguest. All right, I don't know anything about this game. I haven't even set up my Twitch scenes for it. <clears throat> you ready to, like, look at that. Click play for the very first time together. Mint Rocket. Dangerous and delicious. Ooh. What if I do this? It doesn't break. Incredible. What do these do? Nothing. Awesome. <gasps> this is how every Canadian wants to celebrate Canada Day. little friend. You might not know it, but this is what it looks like in Victoria every day. All right, well, this is delightful so far. Shadow, thank you so much for 61 months, friend. Is root beer Canadian? Traditional Canadian, Canadian drink of choice on Canada Day? I have no idea, actually.
Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. All right, let's move me. I have a feeling Dave's gonna pop on that side. Let's move me. I don't know. Wait, I'm sorry. What am I moving? What is this? It's the sub alert. All right, hold on. <laughs> Top corner? What do you think? What do you think? All right. This is Cobra. And this is Dave. Look at that face! Wow. That's what everybody looks like when they get out of the water. I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? Uh-oh. Somebody's about to tell us the sushi is our problem. Ha! <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Okay. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like it. It's not just the size. Every time you enter it, the terrain and, ec and ecology changes. Which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. All right. Okay. Yeah. What kind of business? A sushi business. Nope. All right. Cobra is just going to continue stringing us along. We can discuss that later. I heard you took a, day, a break from diving. How about a little uh, warm up? I'll guide you from here. Go on ahead and go on in. I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. It's right over there. Try moving. Hey, oh my god. Look at us. Yes, yes, yes. Dive. Oh, I hold spacebar to dive. A sushi bar by the blue hole. This is the green humphead parrotfish. Oh my god. Nice form. All right. Little bit of a stretch. Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly, but that speeds up oxygen consumption. Yeah, I'm getting big uh, rogue light or moonlighter vibes right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on a small fish. Get back here. Okay, I... <laughs> what do you mean, well done and smooth? I didn't catch anything. And finally, you haven't forgotten your harpoon, have you? The harpoon? I haven't used one in a while. Do you aim first and then... Looks like you'll need some practice. Let's use the harpoon to catch three fish. Right click to aim and then left click to shoot. Oh, I get harpoon bullet time. Oh, good. I. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Goodness, that is an aggressive harpoon. All right, uh, I did it. You'll get back on track in no time. All right, come back to the boat. Oh, that was a quick dive. Now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi. 
right? For sure. That soft fish meat with the oily rice. It's the best. Aha! Well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I guarantee is unmatched in the world. It's right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will go nuts for it? I'm already craving it. I bet. So, ah, so, why don't you join in this awesome business venture? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know anything about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive and get the ingredients. Oh. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Decline. <laughs> I accept. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Sure. You have to pay, though. I can't wait. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It's supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's have a chat at the restaurant. Ah ha ha. Ooh. Wait, I also pilot the boat? Dang. Hey, Bancho, we ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. It's already finished? Cat. Uh, oh, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. You like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh, man. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Just as mediocre as expected. Oh, oh, no. All right. We have we have failed to impress Bancho. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, like you. <sighs> How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Ah, this is probably fine. Oh no! An earthquake? Huh. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah! It's like we're gonna have to delay the opening. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? I have three fish. That's not nearly enough to serve the guests, but it can serve us. Go catch seven more fish. <laughs> oh, and the restaurant is only going to be open in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a bit more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, like a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Seems Bancho's uh, really passionate about his work. He may not talk about his personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> how do how do you end a sentence with a laugh? 
Like, are we going anime villain? Joe from the other room said, Pwahaha. but hold on. Like, all right. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I don't, all right. I don't think I nailed that. Let's try this again. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> all right, I added an extra ha. How was that take? I'm just trying to figure out this Cobra guy. Joe, can we get a clean take of your bwahaha from the other room? <laughs> I tried. I tried. Ah. <laughs> uh. I haven't seen Bancho so, so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, shouldn't have brought it up. Anyway, go catch seven fish. <laughs> Ooh, look, our customers pay in gold. Hey, Lintoon! Thank you very much for 56 months. I appreciate that. Photographers, I'm in the fire hole. Look at me. I have any second now. It was so lurge. Oh, snurge. We're in the blue hole, not the fire hole. <clears throat> Yeet. A sushi bar by the blue hole. Ooh, fried egg jellyfish. Generally less than 17 centimeters wide. Goodbye. <clears throat> One. Ooh. Do you think? Let's try eating seahorse. Oh. You're decorative. All right. How about shrimp? What? Let me eat you. Am I bad or is it background? Okay, it's background fish. Never mind. We can't eat sea fish. Can I eat this? I like that the little anemones hide. Oh. Ooh. Jellyfish? Oh, it bounced off. Maybe, maybe they're weak from below. Wood. Wood. Can I... Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! Wood. Purple sea urchin. Ow! I don't think sea urchins can get picked up with these gloves. What about this? Oh, oh my God, we mining copper ore? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right, Um, I have to get more fish. Uh, let's go over here. All right, I wanna catch some of these now. These look like good eating fish. Okay, am I done? Can I catch more fish? Oh, yellow tang. Eight fish. Gotta get the big ones, I guess. Let's hang out underwater some more. Uh, what happens? Oh, there's a big one. Oh my God, look at this. Is that tuna? Yo. Wait, is it mad now? What's happening here? Oh, uh, uh, what? I got it. Red toothed trigger fish. Ha ha. Oh.
<gasps> Extra. Oh, jeez. Hello. I want to eat you. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, a chest. A baseball bat? What am I going to do with a baseball bat underwater? Oh, I appear to be dying and... Okay, we have as much fish as we can carry and we went too deep. All right, let's not swim too deep or too greedily. So now... <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. It is important to remember... Oh, my oxygen went up. Oh, wow. Does my oxygen, as I go deeper... Oh. Now, technically, when you're underwater, you don't want to ascend too quickly. I don't think this is going to necessarily be a realistic representation. Oh, no, I got extra oxygen because I clicked on the thing. Yes, I opened the chest. I remember now. I don't think this is going to be a, a, um, a realistic representation of diving, but here we are. Yeah. Baby's got the bends. Oh. Looks like you caught quite a few. Eventually, we're going to come up with voices for Cobra. Hey, Croco King, thank you so much for this full stack. 64 months of support. Dang. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> I kind of want to give uh, Cobra like the anime protagonist voice. But I'm also worried if I do the anime protagonist voice, that'll destroy my voice and I won't be able to go the whole time. Oh. My, my. Look at the time. Oh. We'll have to hurry back and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? We're in a boat together, Cobra. What are you going to do? Are you going to swim? Oh, mission complete. All right, time. 425. Depth. 42. What's the difference between caught and obtained? Oh, obtained is this stuff. Pardon me. The biggest fish I got was an 80 centimeter barrel jellyfish. That's a big jellyfish. Hey, Happy Pants. Thank you so much for using your prime here. Thank you for the 28 months. Ooh, oh my god. Look at that. Those jellyfish are worth 10 bucks each. And then the trigger fish, nine bucks each. Oh, and they're they're meaty as well. Ooh, we only have all right. So the yellow tang is worth nothing. Sea goldie, nothing. The comer was bad. The pyramid butterfish, butterfly fish, that was okay. But yeah, the trigger fish and the jellyfish was where it's at. Uh, do I click on the side? What does it say? No ingredients. Oh, wait. Do I just send everything over? Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hour starts. Well, there is fishing strats. We only have a certain amount of weight allowance, right? So we really want to maximize on that. On that, um, We want to min-max our fishing. I've heard that even though scuba diving is athletically challenging, it can be a great way to relax. It's supposed to help you decompress. Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah, we don't need a fishing mini game where the entire game is fish gang. Wait. Come to think of it, it's already been eight years since we've known each other. I was having fun diving back near unpronounceable rock. You suddenly wanted to get your suitcase that fell off the boat. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought I was in real trouble back then. I was working as a weapons dealer. <laughs> what? And there were important blueprints in that suitcase. Luckily, you saved them before they were ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Lindemann without those blueprints. What? Oh, just talking to myself. Don't mind me.
brush it off. Bancho! How are preparations coming along? I see. I think we're mostly set. Well, that's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Oh, no. We have to cook? You're going to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. But I, I, I don't understand. Cobra told me there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. All I have to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? But I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. Quick primer, so pay attention. But... <laughs> Open the ingredients below. Ingredients. Hit the number four. All right. I need that bell. That bell is the worst. I hate that bell. Here, you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all of the other materials that you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. I love this art style, by the way. All right. Now I'll show you how to register actual items on the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. Oh, we have green tea on the menu. Wow. Nori maki. Sushi made with seaweed, vinegar, and wasabi. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. So try registering that to the menu. I click. Oh. Uh, so we have six servings. Oh, 14 happiness. 15 happiness. All right, let's put this one on here. Put all six up. That wasn't that hard. Thanks, Bancho. Nothing like a manager who also demeans you. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make that a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes. So try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. I am so immediately in love with this game. How are y'all? Are you having as much fun as I am? Oh, this makes four bucks, but is only 10 happiness. Yo, $10, 16 happiness? Yeah, let's go. Sure, let's put this basic, basic Comer Sushi up there. Wait, how do I enhance? Left control. Looks like I can't enhance any of these yet. Is Bancho voiced by Samuel L. Jackson? That can be kind of fun. All right, if Bancho is voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, I want Cobra to be voiced by Keanu Reeves. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god! And I mean, Dave, Dave has to be the dude. Like, if we're if we're picking, I mean, that's not a that's not an actor, that's a character. But how, how great would that be? <laughs> uh, all right, let's go for maximum happiness for this last one. Let's put the old sea goldie on the menu. All right, close. Dave voiced by Brandon Fraser, also a strong choice. Oh my God, Jack Black is Dave? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, Jack Black would, yeah, Jack Black would just sing all of his lines though. I kinda, I kinda adore Jack Black, gonna be honest. All right, let's, uh, let's get back into this. How long, wait, all right, it's Keanu. How long are you, no, I can't, no. <laughs> How long are you gonna stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Can I get a please, Cobra? Have you perhaps poured green tea before? Oh my God. Is this a tea pouring mini game? No, only soft drinks. 
tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Pour green tea. Holy crap. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Oh my god. Customers who drink green tea of good or higher quality will pay more. <laughs> As expected, Bancho's green tea is really quite something. <laughs> Dink. A tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? <laughs> Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? I have to run it back and forth? Oh my god. Yo, what's up, Shay? Come over to where I am and take this food. You can dash when serving food. Use shift to move more quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Oh no! <laughs> you see his little face when I was running? Hello? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. My man. My dude. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so I'll have to throw it out. Uh, no, 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 no. What about I, Sushi? But it seems like such a waste to throw it out. Bancho Suchi will never reuse food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Alright, so this is a lesson that if we get the order wrong, we throw it out. Well, alright. Oh, did you waste my expensive stuff too? My dude, that was our $10. That was our urchin sushi. That was our money maker. Oh, Bancho. Press Q to discard? I'm so upset right now. I can't even eat it! Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. I'm actually kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Alright, let's go. Hello. Oh, would you like some tea? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm pouring some tea right now, my dude. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Oh, it's like I'm working at a restaurant again. Oh, oh, poor Dave. He's doing his best, little guy. Yeah, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses. Uh, what is this over to, what is, I have no idea what this is. Oh God, I have to bust dishes too? You're kidding me. Five artisan flame. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I love this game. You think on the right it was the tea supply? It looked like a plant. It could have also been the uh, the seaweed. I'm not entirely sure. Fascinating. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now.
Meow meow. Ah, well, work's finally done. My back and legs hurt. You were clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Just try harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. Ha <laughs> ha. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Okay. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. I have to get six stars tomorrow or chat's gonna riot? Oh, man. <clears throat> Pardon? Attack is adorable. How long will this go for? Will they leave a voicemail? We're on the water. Yeah, all right, fine. Okay, okay. You the man who's been diving around here? Uh, yes? <sighs> I was expecting a more professional looking guy. We're on the phone! What do you mean professional looking? <laughs> what does this mean? I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Who are you? Oh, I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? What do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one. So get me two of each. I... Your tone makes me want to refuse. I've got a reward. But if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Alright, Ellie needs to be voiced by whoever did Vault Bulma and Dragon Ball. Ooh, a reward. I love Dave so much. Look at Dave's happy face. Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying, you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry and don't dally. Ooh, mission update. New content. Smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current mission and more. Press N for smartphone. Oh no, press escape for smartphone. Ah. I want the cat app, please. Mini games. No! I think we're spoiling some emotional moments here. Hmm. Well, yeet. All right. Only going for all killer, no filler food, right? I think that was good eating. These little things get out of here. Ooh, a starfish. Oh. Uh, I don't know what that is. <gasps> what are you? It's got a balloon by- Oh, it's an enemy! Ow! 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 Do I lose oxygen every time it hits me?
Maybe it can't reach me. Oh my god! Soy sauce. Not any soy sauce. Soy sauce found at the bottom of the sea. Oh, quest stuff. Hello. I eat you. Come back. I eat you. Come back. I eat you. Oh my god. It's so tanky. What is this? A tank fish? Lion's Eye Diamond. Thank you so much for that prime and 11 months. I'm not going to give up. We're, we're bringing this home. <laughs> I'll take one of these too out of curiosity. Uh, hello? All right, get back here. Okay. Rank three. Yes, yes, yes. I'm running out of air. That's fine. Urchin. Ow. Okay, taking damage hurts my oxygen. I appear to be dying. Get some more fish while we're at it. Alright, we're just gonna greed a little bit here. Don't worry. Don't worry, chat. Oh. Uh this is my nightmare. Never didn't have it. It's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. We were fine. We were fine. Everything was fine. Ooh. The green humphead parrotfish. I don't think we should try and take one of those again. Ahem. <clears throat> Neat. And look, soy sauce. Not just any soy sauce, but forbidden ocean soy sauce. I, I got a chat. I got a chat. It wasn't even close. What are you stressing about? All right. What have we learned? The Mediterranean parrotfish. That looked exciting. The lagoon triggerfish. That seemed fine. The titan triggerfish attacked me. It was very rude. One serving. $15 reduce. <gasps> Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. I didn't, pardon me, I didn't notice that the blue hole has an odd violent streak. <clears throat> perhaps, some, perhaps something put them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you take a gun? <laughs> what? What do you mean a gun? I thought guns didn't work underwater. I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Hey, <laughs> hey, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's this goofy looking guy next to you? All right, obviously it's all video calls. Sorry, that was the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Hey, Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. <laughs> Holy crap! People who live in glass houses. Anyways, what's this about? Get to the point. I've begun an interesting business. Ha ha ha. And now I'm in need of weapons, Duff. I need your help. I'm sorry, is that an Evangelion? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, uh, this is what happens when people are allowed to make their own business logos. 
Season two of Straw Stella just ended, so I'll give you a listen. All right, I discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. That's why we didn't get to keep that baseball bat. But we get to keep the soy sauce? I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will break down. And will especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Okay, well, I have wood and I have copper. So now we're going to have to start smelting. Okay, I love this. Ah, oh, so we'll have to get materials from the sea ourselves. Hey, Dave, you'll prove yourself a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no gun at all, let's start with something easy. One rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and a scrap iron. Yeah, I did hear him. Thanks, Cobra. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll need to be able to make it back with one. Oh, you can keep one item. Aha, uh -huh, okay. No, no, you think it's Duff Man from The Simpsons? I think Duff sounds like a comic book guy. That's that's my head cannon. Guessing a spear gun? We already have a spear gun though. So here's the question. Did we keep that oxygen tank from last time or no? No, okay, so I should have used that because it's gone. That was a test, chat. I'd just like you to know that that was a test. All right, so we now have all the starfish we need. We're looking for rope and we're looking for iron. Uh, there's a chest over there, so let's go check that out. What's in the box? I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a katana! Shing! Shing! Oh my god. Perfect game. No notes. Uh, what is this? Escape pod? New content. Escape pod. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first, as the call might take some time. Okay. Oh, but I have to make it to there, eh? All right, critical depth. I can't go any deeper. That was the thing that attacked me. This is a lionfish. Are you a predator? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The answer is yes, but it didn't matter because of my trusty katana. <gasps> What's this? Ooh. What's this? Rope. I think this is the other thing I need. Um, I want all these fish. Please come back. Was this good eating? I can't remember. The blue tang. No, but these were good. I want to get that. Come back, please. back. <gasps> Another escape pod. Hey, Raven! Thank you for the full stack, my friend. <clears throat> Alright, let's take this out then, shall we? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm dying. Woo! Ah, I mean, everything was fine. That was totally fine. There was nothing to stress about either of these dates. Oh, wow, you actually brought them back. 
I guess I expected too little of you. All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised since they helped with my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further. So I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Wow. Wow. Actually, that's huge. Money, olive oil, and soy sauce? I don't know what that means, but number go up. Will, to think you actually managed to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. <laughs> That's just a gun. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. You've collected all the materials. Good. Let's try and create a new weapon. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know how this game keeps getting better. I'm like, I'm like actually, oh my God. <laughs> hey, what a neat explanation like that. Even some like you should have understood. I, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Ooh, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Okay, oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you could pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity! <laughs> Do the controls feel good? Yeah, it's not bad. It's mouse and keyboard. Uh, but it's also, like, very straightforward. So, yeah. You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon... Wait, acquiring a certain number of times... Oh, wait. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint. Okay. Oh! Neat. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Dave! You collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. All right. Okay. Oh. So you can cook with coral. Jack, can you eat coral? You shouldn't eat coral. That's bad. Coral is precious. Don't eat coral. I take it back. Hmm. Wrap up your day. Get ready to make sushi. That's not coral. That looked like fan coral. That's algae. Oh, okay. If that's algae, that's fine. It looked like fan coral. Coral is also full of toxins. That also makes sense. What is, what is agar? I guess it's not, I guess agar is not uh, coral. You can eat anything once. That's, that is what they say. All right, let's open the menu. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at our ingredients. So we have... Six servings of Mediterranean parrot fish. I think what I... Oh, oh, right. What's this? 
soy sauce, right? I can enhance stuff now, can't I? A condiment used to enhance the flavor and scent of a dish. It's made from fermented beans and is also made along with soybean paste, okay? We have olive oil, an oil made from compressed olives. It is regarded as the cooking oil of the highest quality and is treated as such. Agar is a genus of phalloid red algae. Okay, so it is algae, even though it, the art looks like coral. It's used to make supple agar. Okay. <clears throat> you have an agar-based dessert in your fridge right now. Interesting. It's a gelatinous thing you use in cooking sometimes. Fascinating. Okay. Uh, I've got five servings. Uh, this is from that one enormous parrotfish we fought forever. Yo, 23 happy? Yeah, all right. <clears throat> oh, I can also sell ingredients. That's cool. Other. <laughs> That's not ominous at all. All right, let's put the menu together today. Oh, oh my God. These dishes are so hot right now. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're not that hot. I can just enhance them. All right, let's go for like a mega menu. So what am I doing here? Green hump head parrotfish soupy, sushi taste can be enhanced. Whoa, look at that happiness. I enhance it. I'm sorry, what am I about to witness here? Enhanced. I, I don't know what to tell you, chat. <clears throat> Only have two servings of it. Okay, so apparently when I enhance it, I lose servings after? That's fine. Let's enhance everything. Okay, so it takes it takes three servings. Oh, I only get the cutscene once? I mean, I guess that's fair. I don't think I can afford to enhance this just because I don't have enough food otherwise. So let's put this on the menu today. Right? Your face is gonna hurt from all this grinning. This game is so fun. All right, let's put this on the menu. How many servings do I have? Oh, did I only put one serving on the menu? That's bad. Um, auto supply. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm learning. <clears throat> there. All right, you ready to run for the day? It's cooking time. So what is, this is my wasabi, right? Hello. Oh, would you like some tea? Hustle. 
Oh, you'd like some tea. Oh, God! Uh, did they leave because I did a bad job pouring tea? Yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up, pharmacist judge? Thank you so much for the full stack. Is that what the community is at right now? 64, like the highest it could be? You wouldn't be sad if you over poured tea. It has to be perfect. We have extremely high. Oh my God. It is a wasabi mini game. Is that good? Oh my God. <laughs> Raincoast Bear, thank you so much for 10 months, friend. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to you as well. I'm very sad about that one bad tea I poured. Uh, I only got a 4.6 out of 5? It's from that one bad tea. This game came out on the 28th, Mitsu. It's called Dave the Diver. It's a, it's kind of like Moonlighter. By day, you go and you scuba dive and you collect fish. And by night, you serve it in a sushi restaurant. <clears throat> and it is absolutely delightful in extra in every way that I just want it to be. They didn't ask me to spill the tea. You're not wrong. Still breaks my heart though. Yeah, we never get to sleep. Are you Dave by any chance? Dr. Bacon! No. Uh, what is it, sir? Wow. I'm always right about these things, haha. -huh. <clears throat> he just dislocated his jaw. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon, an archaeologist who studies the sea people. <laughs> the sea people? Oh, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? Yeah. I shouldn't have asked. Oh my god. The sea people civilization lives in legends. Oh, you're too fast! They worshipped fish and had gills, allowing them to live underwater. <clears throat> they lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasion by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the bottom of the sea brought about their abrupt downfall. That's all there is to their story. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the definitive vicinity of this place. What? This is an amazing find. One that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see that in, like, comic books or games. What makes you sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact sound nearby and found that it's from no known civilization. It's dated around 1,500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. That's interesting, but what does that have to do with me? Well, you see... My assistant's crypto investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a while. That's why I need you to help me. My assistant told me that an artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go look. Look, I'm running a sushi bar. I don't think I can... Hey, sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we'll help you. Ha <laughs> ha. I... I don't have time to swim around and look for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Does Cobra have a gold tooth? Is that a gold tooth? Mm. I mean, I guess you have a point. 
All right, I'll help. Haha, <laughs> isn't that lucky? But of course, you won't be working for free. Nice, there we go. I was thinking we couldn't get that deep, so does Anime Kitty. But we get to go deeper with a diving suit upgrade. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to go even deeper. <clears throat> These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technology sure is amazing, eh? Oh, happy Canada Day! Let's install iDiver. Oh. So I have to pay for these upgrades. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you. So unlock your phone first. Wow. Oh, it's a free upgrade. Well, that's nice. Now, you'll be able to go even deeper. Once you have enough money, using iDiver to enhance your equipment, you can enhance your suit as well as cargo and oxygen. Never forget that anything can happen in these deep waters. Be in touch! What's up, Batarka? Just so happens that I have enough money to buy this and this. And I'm sure nothing can go wrong that I've completely bankrupted myself. Yeet! Ooh, Barracuda. Dun 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 All right, how do I gun? Oh, I only have eight bullets with gun. I understand. Do 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 do. Shock tip harpoon. Oh. Baseball bat. Oh. Rope. All right, we got some good eating over here. You ready? Oh, they're attacking me. <laughs> Bonk. Oops, I missed. Welcome to the new depth. I want to try you. Get back here. Oh, I missed. I missed again. Ah! Man, these quick time events are hard on the old hand. I had to switch. I had to do two hands on the keyboard there. <gasps> what are you? You look big and delicious. Come back here. Hello? I'm not done with you. I said I'm not done with you. Uh, oh, oh, I'm massively overweight. And I got inked. Um, but I'm not done yet. What's this? <gasps> Skull. 
All right, I'm so overweight right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. But what if, instead of leaving, I also... Dang. What if just a little bit more? What's this? What's this? Ammo. Oh, another gun. I'm not done with you yet. Poison harpoon tip. Oh no, I want the electrical tip. Okay, I'm not... There doesn't seem to be any downside to just simply grabbing more stuff. This is all fine. I think it's faster to go down. Okay, I can literally no longer take any more. But what if? <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm too fast for you, fish. <laughs> Rainbow! Thank you very much, White Mobile, for the 22. Happy Canada Day to you. Can you get the bends? Apparently not. Wow. I caught a dusky grouper. I also got a skull. <clears throat> I wonder if we're going to display that in the restaurant. And some glass. Wow. I need to stop collecting everything. <laughs> so I can spend more time exploring. But what if I just simply greed and take everything? Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurant. But what about dive number two? <gasps> wow, this looks very nice. Haha! <laughs> Doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. That's literally the opposite of what you said before, Cobra. If you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open. So check it out. I guess we also get to decorate the restaurant. Oh my God. Hey, Fishzor, what's up, friend? Thank you for 54 months. I heard if you stay up late, you may catch a surge in the wild. Man, is it like four in the morning for you, Fishzor? That's so late. <clears throat> oh, but as Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but this area is kind of remote. So I think we need a way to advertise the store until then. Mm. Yeah, these days it's impossible to attract customers without publicity. Mm. I got it. What about that new social media app, Cooksta? You mean the social media app that young people use to post pictures of the food that they eat? <laughs> Oh my god, do I have to start taking pictures of my food now, too? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Even so, isn't it better to use that to keep people ignorant of your food rather than keep people ignorant of your food, Bancho? Got a point. Making an account is easy. Let's try it out. We make the hashtag Bancho Sushi. And then, done. Who's got two thumbs and made an account? This guy. Well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Now customers happy with your food will follow Bancho Sushi. Not sure about this, but I got it. Also, install the Cooksta app on my phone and I'll check the follower posts. 
All right. Raise your ratings in Cooksta. More customers will visit and new food will be unlocked. Oh. Oh. <gasps> we can put a little bonsai? Oh my god. Cobra's picture. Right there. Love it. Love it. Did somebody say money sink? <laughs> yeah. Uh, good. Hold on. Apply. All right, let's take a look at the ingredients that we got today. So we got, this is a mackerel, I'm assuming? Mackerel scad. A fish with bluish green fins, a white belly, and black spots above the gills. It has a long body and is measured at around 46 centimeters. Ooh, rank three, the dusky grouper. This took me forever to catch, right? But it's worth good money. We also got more of the agar. So I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of ingredients to enhance anything right now, which makes me a little bit nervous. Let's take a look at the menu for today. I think I just need to catch a ton of fish soon, right? Well, hold on. If I enhance this, I'm doing it. Oh, yes, it's time. This game is so extra in every way I ever wanted it to be. So these are pretty, actually both of these are common. I'm going to enhance this one and I'm going to cook the other one. There we go. That's our menu for the day. I assume I'm not the only one that hoped Serge would play this game so I could live it through him and not have to spend the money. <laughs> uh, all right. Can I pet the cat? Hi, Momo. <laughs> Joe was like, I, I named this cat Meow Meow. Meow Meow. <laughs> if you want to change to a different style, try changing at the interior menu. Already done. Food with a high taste score will increase customer satisfaction. Never stop learning. All right, you ready? Dinner time. Wait, I thought I hit E. I've made a menu. Closed. Oh my God, it's not even... Uh, don't we go back and go scuba diving again? Oh, I haven't checked out Cooksta yet. Bancho Sushi's Bar Grand Opening. You've never tasted sushi like this before. Reasonable prices and great service. Open only in the evenings. Hashtag best sushi. Hashtag blue hole. Hashtag good price. Hashtag open at night. Hashtag best flavor. Hashtag special price. So do I need to, um, do I need to time skip? I guess I don't get to do a second dive today. Oh, I can exit. Boat. 
yeah, let's get our second dive in today. Afternoon. Yeet! All right. Uh, more fish, or should we find the artifact, chat? What do you want to? What do you want to focus on? Food, because we can enhance more stuff, or or plot. Artifact. All right. Let's try and hunt for that plot. <gasps> oh my God! A friend. A dolphin. Seems to be asking me to follow. <laughs> Alright, let's roll, little buddy. Oh my, it's magical! <laughs> Slow down there, little buddy. Remember, there's oxygen there. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna stop and get this gun. The triple axle. <laughs> Gun enhancement kit. Oh no, a pink dolphin is caught in the net. So it's asking me to rescue its friend. I should cut that net. Wow, the ocean is magical. They gave me a pearl. I don't even know how dolphins had mates. A dolphin's request. Pearl. Acquired from pearl oysters. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's... See if we can't find this artifact, you know? Hey, more, more oxygen. Alright. What's this? Hajime. Alright, time to go deeper. My Oh boy, is that a shark? That's absolutely a shark, isn't it? this turmeric probably fine hey good good chimpanzee no stop it Very good at video games. What are you yelling at me about, Anime Kitty? Oh, oh. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't touch the shark. Why would I touch the shark? Why do you think I would make decisions that are actively bad in my own interest? Ooh, what's this? A red sniper rifle. Duffman here. No, 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 
silver bowl. What? Was that not the artifact I needed? All right, let's ride along this for a second here. Eh. I've never made bad choices in a video game ever. You're... Ow, correct. All right, let's try the other direction. I'm going to eat this, though. Oh, my God. Get back here. You're my dinner. Got it. Oh, now I'm suddenly heavy. Uh, there was another fish that I blasted and it disappeared. Yo, Nibbles! Thank you very much for the $10 dono. Uh, sending the lyrics to the Canadian National Anthem. I appreciate that. Uh, ooh, you are, oh God, no! Leave me alone! I'm just a I'm just a man trying to find proof of ancient underwater civilizations, okay? Um Does exclamation mean good? <gasps> a sea people artifact. Dave, that's it! Come back to the boat. Oh buckets! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's probably fine. Uh, excuse me, shark friend. I want squid. Hi, Chris. Thank you for 63 months. I'm sure they're friendly. Yeah, me too. Luckily, there's this conveniently located escape pod. Reminding me to get dredge while it's on sale. I was kind of tempted. I'm going to play it in October. And I think in October... It'll be even cheaper. But yeah, I've heard very good things about Dredge. I'm just going to put this hoodie on for no reason. You brought it out safely! Actually, once again, uh, Nibbles, thank you very much. I was kind of in the middle of, you know, trying not to die. But I do appreciate that $10 dono. Happy Canada Day, friends. Seems like it's in good condition. Almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Very interesting. This might be the find of the century. Oh. All right, Dave. Let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the sea people. Um. Where's the safety hoodie from? This is from Uniqlo. I thought I'd only be helping you the one time. <laughs> <laughs> of course, say no more. Um. Just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, that won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. Goodbye, Dr. Bacon. <gasps> wow, that's a lot of money. Ooh, and turmeric. I wonder how much the pearl is worth from the dolphin. Oh, we've unlocked the triple axle. <laughs> Look at that. New depth record. New dive time record. 16 objects obtained. Good stuff. One cuttlefish. It's just an entire cuttlefish on the board. <gasps> it's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in. Oh, we get to hire staff soon?
Uh oh. Uh oh. I got a feeling I know where this is going. This is Bancho Sushi. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Miss Yoshi. I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cooksta. The name gave me pause. But to think, it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A taciturn, but musculine chef. <laughs> Cat is teasing you by sitting on the rowing machine. I don't know how to deal. You don't have to work out at four in the morning, Fisher. That's a tomorrow problem. Hey, do they mention me? No. Oh. Oh man, poor Dave. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on my day-to-day, -day, training myself. My goodness, that's the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion. And that's what got you booted from the hotel. Oh, you're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? To keep making that terrible food. <gasps> what do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. <laughs> Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East. And in Korea, it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop. You haven't changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then whether it's food fit for consumption. Tell you. Wait, then I can tell you why I came. Fine. Let me show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head. Bancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Oh, no. They're going to make me hunt a shark, chat. Dave. As a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. So, I... Let's let's set aside the plot of the game here. Because sure, we're in a fantasy environment. Don't love eating shark. Don't love eating shark in general. One of these things I kind of, kind of disagree with. But whatever. All right? You want me to catch a wipe a white tip reef shark man say that five times fast With your skills it should be easy enough But a harpoon's not gonna make it enough Take a gun <laughs> But fighting a shark sounds dangerous What do you mean? You're just gonna stand by and watch my pride get trampled? The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. <laughs> ah, yes, the right side of the ocean. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head. This is preposterous, and it can only be killed with gun? I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. A scolding from Yoshi. Ooh, new content. Special customer. Sometimes, special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and then serve it to them. You can now research new recipes using your artisan's flame. Research. The head of a white reef shark that's been deep fried whole. Okay. Oh, you ready for this? <laughs> Why is finger on fire? Incredible. Gain new cooking inspiration. The man is Sanji. Fair. All right. A scolding from Yoshi. I'll be offering the true flavor of whole roasted shark head. Don't for forget to procure the ingredients as well as completing the cooking research in advance. Whole roasted shark head. I've already lost my appetite. All right. Let's take a look at our menu. 
Uh, you know what? That's probably enough for today. Wait, I got another grouper, didn't I? No. Wait, I did. There we go. All right. All right, friends, it's cooking time. Why would you deep fry in olive oil? That's the problem you have with this dish pharmacist judge. You know what? Hello, hi. Would you like some tea? I'm gonna pour it for you perfectly. Ow! Oh, never mind. God, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Oh, I got a thumbs up. We got a thumbs up. Oh, we getting some comments over there. I can't, I can't keep up with them all. So let me know if you, um, anybody want any tea? I'd love to pour you some tea. Can I do more research? No, at this point I could, you need inspiration. Let me, let me pour you tea. If I've learned anything from my American friends is there's no limit to what you can deep fry. <laughs> You're not even wrong. Close for the day. <sighs> We got six likes today. Oh man, this is getting too close to my real life here. Wow, do you know how many new followers I got today? It's a good thing my livelihood doesn't depend on this. <laughs> Top sales, dusky grouper sushi. Wow, multiple people in chat saying Americans got nothing on Scotland when it comes to deep frying. I didn't know Scotland had a deep history of deep frying stuff. That's exciting. What's your favorite deep fried thing in Scotland? Oh, by the way, can we just acknowledge five out of five stars? No biggie, but... And look at this graph. Look at this continuous growth. Almost not sustainable. Wait, Scotland invented deep fried Mars bars? Oh, I did not know that. I definitely thought deep fried Mars bars was an American thing. I apologize to all of my Scottish friends. I didn't know. Scotch egg deep fried? Ooh. Joe, are you making more coffee? My love. Oh. Hi, Dave. Good news! What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look happy. I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount is made with an unknown substance. I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. I went ahead and developed a radar to track those waves. And why is that news lucky? Ah, just being coy, are we? This radar is bound to come in useful on your next expedition. What do you mean, my next expedition? Coper forced me to go along last time. This is where Coper interrupts us again. Oh, I was given a contract with your name on it. The cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20. What are you even talking about? Ha, <laughs> ah, don't be so by the book. Check the signal, test out the radar. Man, we are being so exploited here. All right, Cobra. What have you, what have you signed me up for? Oh! Oh! Pardon me. My package hasn't arrived. It's been a while. What went wrong? Oh, I recently picked up the floating remnants of the wrecked boat. Must have been some kind of accident. Sudden accident. This isolated blue hole. 
Uh, I think I saw a huge squid a while ago. It's not because of that, is it? A giant squid. Just about anything can happen here. Stay on your toes. I'm the one underwater. The triple squeak, yeah. All right, let's check out the weapon shop here. Hey, wow. I can even make the triple axle. So currently, our basic underwater rifle, 15 damage, range of five, magazine of eight. This has damage of 11 to 33, range of three and a magazine of five. Cannot pierce. So this is technically an upgrade. What do you think? Ah, uh, let's just keep the, oh, I have to fight a shark. Here goes, dead flame. All right, let's craft this. All right. All right, brace yourself, chat. It might be cutscene in time. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. All right, we've got the triple axle equipped. We're gonna use this to hunt shark, apparently. Oh, right, let's check Cooksta. Ooh. Passion-filled sushi at night. The soy sauce and wasabi are awesome. Won't come again. Oh, you made me coffee. Thank you, my love. Nibbles! With another $10 dono, thank you, friend. Triple axle. That's so many axles. One might see even. Axel Ottle, man. Uh. Oh my god. That's a nice cup of coffee. Oh my god, that's a nice. Joe! Oh my god, have you had a sip of that yet? Oh, it's spectacular. You make no apologies. Mm. I heard this fish is poisonous, but it tastes good, actually. <laughs> oh, I can like them. Oh my god. The sea people artifact. What a lucky day. Gotta eat sushi on days like this. Sushi here is nice. I don't like that strange guy serving it, though. Well, no like for you. <laughs> Have I talked about how amazing Joe is? I'm so up to date on YouTube VODs. It's wild. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, big fan of Joe. Is, <laughs> is this how you take a profile pic? It's hard. No! Old man! His finger's on the camera. I diver. I'm gonna upgrade my harpoon gun here. I think that's the most important update I could do right now. Spend all of my money on a new harpoon gun. Joe stream when? It might happen sooner than you think. No other comment. No other comment. What's up, Zergen? All right, ocean time. So, we can follow the signal, or I think, I think today is going to be a, uh, a food day, Al. <gasps> Rope. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's not a food day. It's shark hunting day. Right, I forgot. I have to go to the right side of the ocean in search of shark. Ooh, an, a gun. Oh, that's lucky. Shark does count as food. Shing, shing.
I think these were good eating too, weren't they? Dang. Can I one-shot them now? Signs point to yes. Oh, I remember that being good eating as well. No, 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 no. Focus on the shark, Surge. Focus on the shark. Oh, you're new. I don't know what you are. Basic underwater rifle. Why would you give me a downgrade? All right, let's go deeper. Diving isn't timed. Just leave when you run out of oxygen or when you choose to leave. Correct. Hey, speaking of which, bonus oxygen. I think the next thing I'd want to upgrade is my carry. Yeah, shark time. Sorry, what's that, shark? Oh! I'm a little sad, but we got it. How heavy is it? It's only 2.5 kilos? Wait. Oh, never mind. Oh, 5 kilos. That seems so wasteful. That seems mega wasteful. All right, any Kevin the Sharks in chat? <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. We're going to greed a little here. Ooh, what's this? A hush dart. Oh, missed. Come back. Oh, it's asleep. Wait, does that mean I can catch it alive? Oh. <gasps> back here, please. I hunger. I hunger. Please? Fish? Got him. Wait. Oh, there's no room. Oh, I just killed the fish for nothing. I believe there was a an, an escape pod right up here, right? Yeah. All right. Good, good first dive. I'm sad we killed a shark, but here we are. It's a shame you can't dump your inventory in the escape pod and keep going. Yeah, good call, PM Avers. Hush chart was kind of cool. They swim around for a bit, but eventually you can just go collect them. Biggest fish. Riff. White tip reef shark. 200 centimeters. That's actually not that big. I was expecting it to be larger. The Big Eye Trevally. That seems like an excellent fish. Titan's always nice too. 210 centimeters is still over two meters. Yeah, but I'm just under two meters, right? So like I'm 184 centimeters. So I look at that and I think like, that's like that much bigger than me, right? <laughs> that's not, that's not a lot. That's not a big shark. I mean, 
It's a big fish, but it's not like a big fish. Oh my God. Who are you? Hoppity hop. <laughs> you. Do you know a lot about this giant blue hole? Mm. Well, not sure what to say. It's different every time. Yeah, that's it. It's the plus best place to collect marine ka. Baron ka? <laughs> Ash is not aged well. <laughs> this is what happens when you catch them all and you have no purpose in life. I could complete my collection in this place. Oh God, no. It is Ash. I have to catch one of all the fish. <laughs> Wait, Ash's name in the Japanese anime is Satoshi? Sato? Oh my God. Is this also a pun? What? Don't tell me you don't know the highly popular marine life trading card game, Marinka. Hmm. How can you not have heard of this futuristic trading cards that utilize AI recognition systems that corresponds to fish in real life? I uh, sounds fun. You seem behind the times. Let me help you install the app. So press this and then touch this and add a friend and done. So what do I do now? The amazing thing about this game is you don't do anything. Just catch a fish and you'll get a card. Check the cards every now and then in the app and you're done. I see. I guess I'll be able to easily see what fish I've caught so far. My phone is now a Pokedex. Oh my God. You don't want to be saying the name. I understand. I'll try it out. Oh, they don't want us to get sued by Big Pikachu. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Sa Sato or Sato? Sa Sato. I'll give you my contact info. Hit me up when you have questions. See you later then. Choo! That's the Pikachu noise. <laughs> I like anime kitty being like, is this cringe or not? Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. Now they want me to catch. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh my god, look at the cards. <laughs> oh, look at the cards. Is there an actual game? Rank four? Why do they have different color types behind them too? Okay. Oh my God. So this is the shallows. Here we are in the medium depths. And then other areas not yet unlocked. I <laughs> look. <laughs> but the card frame is so good. Gotta fish them all. A normal fish will be tranquilized after eight seconds. Oh. I had my fill of sushi. Not yet, no. Yeah, do I even get to eat sushi? I hope so. So now I'm actually kind of incentivized to catch one of each of these fish up here.
get this red fish. Get that yellow fish. If you see a fish you think I haven't caught, let me know. I think I've caught one of each of these now. So let's go slightly deeper. You put this game in a bad light for some reason, but now after seeing it, you're pretty stoked. This game is delightful. This game is so extra in every single way. Okay, I haven't caught one of these black fish or one of these angel fish. Oh, it says new if it's new. These are good eating if I remember correctly. Oh, there's shrimp. I haven't caught the shrimp yet. Can I, can I have a, a shrimp? No, okay, what's this? The more I play this game, the more I love it. Like, I have just been... This might end up being one of my favorite games of the year. It's just so extra. It's just so just delightfully pleasant. God, you're so tanky. Good eating day. Oh! Uh, I don't know what just happened, but sure. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, pufferfish. Uh, we haven't caught one of you before. Come be my dinner. Oh! Instead of bullet time, we get harpoon time. Wow. Hello? Hello? You're hard to eat. Aha! Manger. We need to upgrade our gloves at some point. What's up, Camping Viking? Thank you so much for using your Prime here, friend. 20 months. Dang. Appreciate that. You only got one out of three stars because you shot it dead? Oh, was shooting it worse than harpooning it? What's this? Katana? Shing! Shing! I don't think I can pick up this rope. Wait, we haven't eaten eel yet either. Are you sure? Well, some fishes have different score rating, but I'm not sure. How you kill the fish affects its quality. Interesting. All right, we'll see once we actually look at the ingredients. I don't know, I did air quotes. To see if we have, um, like, two different things we can put on the menu now. Very curious. When you put that fish to sleep, you got three stars. Okay. Rank one, rank two. So let's see. Um, rank three. Maybe you get more meat out of it too? Because it's definitely a rank three fish, but we only got one. Whoa! $180 dollary dues? For the starry puffer, danger fish. Wow. So we got a couple of new fish today. We got the long bat fish, the black and white snapper, and then we also got the starry puffer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's another angelfish we haven't caught. Oh my god. Do I have to get like one, two, and three star ratings for all of the fish as well?
No, because I had I had caught the um the lionfish before. Have there been many fish puns, and should I make more? I saw Gunner in chat. Maybe I've just been missing missing the fish puns. What am I saying? Uh, yeah, we're there. All the fish puns have been said. Yeah, no no reason to do anything. <laughs> Uh, the only three-star card is the one that I trapped. Uh, the one that I stunned, eh? That one, eh? Interesting. Sure, I'll net a few more. <laughs> Alright. Oh, a crab! Shipwreck interior. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that one's large. When the fish is so big it can't fit in the frame, I get a little bit concerned. How big was the previous shark? Yikes. All right. Walk -a -walk. All right, let's go home. wasn't fishing for puns, but I got reeled in. Oh, man. I got baited. <laughs>think we can upgrade some stuff now because we've got yeah for the wait oh awesome we can put the shark head on uh let's upgrade this enhance oh you ready Oh my god, I can enhance this further. Level three. You know what? If we're going to serve shark, it's going to be the highest quality shark possible. We're going to go with, with, oh, you no, 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 no. Let's serve, where is it? The one of one. Um, we can we have exactly one order of, um, I thought we had one order of the puffer fish, which is super dangerous, but worth like 10 bajillion dollars. Hello, Tang, Comber. Can I not serve the puffer fish? Am I already serving the puffer? I'm serving the puffer fish right there. How did I get six orders of it? I thought I had, oh, I guess, okay. I, for whatever reason, I thought I had one order that was worth $180 it is. No, that is puffer fish. Where did, sorry, parent fish, not puffer fish. I saw P. Uh, this is fine. This is This is a pretty good menu right now. That one bit of meat turned into six servings. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, right there. Rank three fish. Oh, we don't know how to cook it yet. Ooh, I wonder if I get inspiration for that. So let's go to research. No, okay, I don't actually know how to cook it. See, so we've got it here. Usable menu item. We don't actually know how to cook it yet. Interesting. We also don't know how to cook with the agar yet either. Oh, very cool. All right. So I think once we upgrade our, our um, sushi gram account or whatever it's called, we might be able to get some new stuff. Anyways, let's start the cooking day.
All right, she's here. Time to get that shark, that deep fried shark head. Disgusting. The look of it ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. <gasps> How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roof. Roast. Oh, it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is this ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's lovely. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit, this is good. You pass, Bancho. Let me tell you while I'm here. This restaurant needs to hire people, and I can help you with that. What do you mean? Do you still mean to go alone, Bancho? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I trust. I'm Yoshi, the recruiter. <laughs> this is what I do. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Hire employees to reduce the workload. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make cooking food faster. All right, let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Oh. I'm in the middle of my dinner rush right now. Okay, sure. Ooh, we're hiring. Oh. Yeah, middle of the dinner rush is not the time to talk about anything. You know what I mean? The recruitment results can become uh, available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Uh, uh, hi, would you like some tea? Stop. Ow. Wait, somebody else wants shark head? Oh, I have more shark head. Oh my God, everybody wants shark head. I can't believe I messed up tea again. It's because I got rushed. <laughs> oh. New dishes. Boiled yellowback fusilier. Salt grilled red tooth trigger fish. Agar tokoraten. I don't know what that means. Or seasoned kajime. Wow. Uh, I don't know what this means, but everything I had before was one. So I don't know what that means. Oh my god. One new menu slot. One one plus one kitchen staff. Bonus wasabi amount. And plus ten added interior. Is that more seating? Uh. Oh, good lord. I can't keep up. People are going to get unhappy. Cook faster, Bancho. Cook faster, you fool. I'm sorry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't you dare leave on me. Oh, no, Dave. Dave's doing his best. No. 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 Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Why do I have operating expenses now? Wow. Pardon me. To pay what employees? I don't have any employees yet. Maybe it was I have to maybe I have to pay for wasted dishes. I know in a lot of cooking restaurant games, interior upgrades can mean more customer patience. Ooh, that's a good question, Shay. Suddenly have expenses and nothing changed. We'll see. Don't question Cobra's accounting. Fair. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You haven't quit diving yet, have you? Hi, Ali. All right, what is it this time? I'm doing some investigating for an important paper, and I'm going to need your help. Get me three blue shells and three brown shells. Okay, but aren't you supposed to do this sort of thing yourself? Are you kidding me? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation. What you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all. So don't let it get to your head. Hurry, hurry along. I don't have much time until the deadline. Oh my god. So speaking of research, did you hear the story about a university that had like 20 years and a million dollars worth of research ruined because a janitor didn't like the humming sound and unplugged one of the refrigerators? Oh, man. Yeah, it was beeping. So the university isn't trying to pursue any criminal um, or suing for the individual who did it. But they're suing the firm that hired them because obviously they weren't trained properly. So the fridge's alarm was going off. And so the janitor hit the breaker. Wow. He thought he was helping and didn't see the sign. Yeah. So the the experimental stuff in the fridge had a margin of error of something like three degrees. And they just turned it off. You've done a similar job. One of my colleagues accidentally flooded the lab. Oof. Oof. That story is so sad and there's so much more to that story as well. Yeah. Twitch is dying today. Can't load the mod view. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on. Like um, my, my view as well is all over the place. Like some people's badges aren't showing because like I know that Anime Kitty and Kits are subbed. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch is struggling a bit right now, you know? Anyways, let's keep going. You're impossible. But since you say it's for a paper, was it blue shells and brown shells? Yes. When is Twitch ever not weird? I mean, that's fair. Our cleaning people took a metal mop to our MRI room. <laughs> oh no, Lady Antarka. Oof. Oof. Oh, hey, we get to upgrade our Cookstagram account. All right, let's rank. Oh, what's this? We received an award. Please come visit. Rank up. Oh, it just happens. <laughs> we have 10 followers. Okay. It's good. I can't get over the way it looks. It's a little bit gross on camera. <laughs> oh, was there rewards I could collect? Oh, it's... Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. So this shows the rewards you get. I don't think you collect the rewards. It just shows the rewards. All right, not that many new stuff. My page. <laughs> Official account of Bancho Sushi. I think we'll get a chance to um, to research some more stuff later on. How much money do I have? Let's check out our eye diver here. And I'm gonna upgrade our cargo box because I want more cargo. 19 kilos. 
So I could go deeper. Wow, that's a significant depth increase. You know what? Sure. Ah, uh, let's go for the cheaper upgrade first. More air. Like, I haven't really been using all my air because we've typically been leaving because our cargo box is full, but that's fine. Hey, uh, give me a second. Before we go diving for the day, uh, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I will be right back.
Hello, I return. Uh, thank you very much to Lirazel for the 200 chair bits. I appreciate it. Twitch is struggling for everybody. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. I, I mean, that Twitch is broken because this game is absolutely delightful. And I hope people aren't missing out on this. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it's time to just hop in the water. Yeah. So what's our goal? I guess our goal is to find some shells. I think we got a good amount of food right now. The gray triggerfish. Oh yeah, this is new food. Also, if you think you see any fish, oh, never mind. Oh, the dolphin is back. Hello. Did your friend get captured again? Maybe we'll get another pearl. Oh, I forgot to try and sell the pearl. Can you stun more fish for three stars? I don't have the stun gun yet, Chrono. You're the dolphin from before. Why does it look like it's in a hurry? I wonder if something's going on. Come to think of it, I don't see the pink dolphin this time. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat> you can't see any stream you look at. No, somebody captured it. You see my stream, Goombalax? Oh no, the pink dolphin. Pirates must have captured it illegally. Which is completely different from what we're doing. I'm sorry, are they shooting at me? Oh, good, good dolphin. Oh. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, they shot the dolphin! Ow, stop that. Good lord. What? <clears throat> and they were roommates. They left another gift. I hope neither of them get caught again. Ooh, a large cold bar. All right. So I got shot, which means I've lost a bunch of oxygen. Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's one of the shells I need. Awesome. Oh, good. Uh, more oxygen. Have I caught one of you before? Maybe. You're good eating. I probably could have saved that for later. That was a little bit early for me to grab. That's fine. Uh, let's get some of this. What's this? Shock bang stick. Type of stick weapon. Oh! Oh, it's a stick weapon. That means if I bop fish with it, I get them three-starred. Shoot. But uh, I can't catch fish, fish that are faster than I am. Uh, maybe I can corner them. Ooh, maybe I can finally catch one of you. Ow! Ow! Stop that. <laughs> All right, I'm losing. Alright, you know what? Fine. You win. You win. You win, eel. <laughs> I'll learn. Clownfish. New! That's excellent. We like new around here. Yep. 
baseball bat. No. Twitch is struggling today. So I tried to boop it. Let's try cornering it. Oh! Oh. One star. Okay. So the stun stick doesn't work as we would hope it would. Interesting. Are poison fish still edible? Yes, apparently. It's a different kind of poison. Oh, uh, this is, uh, I think, a new fish. I missed. Yes, the ornate Rassi. What are you? Underwater scooter. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't new. That's fine. Uh, that's a shark. Leave me alone. Uh, what? your 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 favorite currency twitch chat hey Dalrin thank you so much for 33 months all right I have a golf club oh uh, there's another puffer fish is it canals no it's salt gets it I'm dissing on chat all right caught it in one. All right, I am heavy now, which is bad. Let's grab this oxygen and get out of here. Don't hit the spikes. Ow! What did I say? <laughs> no! I want to go there, please. Stop. Not at. All right, I need one more blue shell. Then the quest is over. Maybe maybe I can get lucky and find a blue shell just over here. What do you think? There's an escape pod nearby. Oh, that's the scary shark again. Started playing this last night. This game's so good, Dalrand. Another other water scooter. Okay. Ooh, another uh, another skull. Oh yes, there's the. Hold on, let's grab this first just to make sure. All right, now let's grab the um, the weird whatever this is. <clears throat> totally full now. Let's get out. Are you new? Oh, that's new. Hold on. I want to catch this and then we'll leave. Come back. Come back. Oh, that's just a dusky grouper. I've caught those before. So just over to the right here, right? There was a, a way out, which is good because I'm pretty 
Heavy. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried if I if I had greeted too hard. <laughs> All right, home. <clears throat> Happy Canada Day. Thank you, song. Hi, Ellie. That was harder than I expected. These are hard to find. Well, that isn't bad. Now then, if I just complete the delivery to Eco Watcher. Ha ha! Research level gained! What? Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know. Eco Watcher is a mission based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. So this was the points on the app, not for a paper? Oh, well, uh, you could say they're basically the same thing. You can try it out if you're interested. Bye. Wow. Took care of a fall-sized spider and it's only July. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Use the Eco Water Eco Watcher app. To check on various ecological missions, gather points, and receive various rewards. Look at that. Let's go. So we got one, two, three, four new fish today. That's awesome. All right, let's check out the app here. Uh, first up, Eco Watcher. Ooh, research starfish. Okay. Uh, we could research marine plants. That'll give us some points. Research points. So if I get... Uh, oh, this is cool. Oh! There are more highly venomous jellyfish. Remove the jellyfish to restore environmental balance. So we want to catch lionfish and jellyfish and get shells. And uh, we're looking for orange starfish in particular. This is very cool. Do we have a tattoo called Welcome Mat? I do feel kind of bad how bullied, you know, Dave gets. People are awfully rude to him. All right, so we caught one of these. Uh, this is the Ornate Wrasse. Okay, we also got a two-star puffer fish. Yeah. The blue-headed tile fish. We also got the striped red mullet. And this fish has a mustache. Good stuff. Research fossil. Yeah, I'm missing one bone so far. I'm pretty sure I can't turn it in until I have three out of three, right? So uh, we have to wait. One more, but yeah, I saw that chrono. Weapon shoppy. Don't know why I wanted me to click on that. Why is it, why is there an exclamation? Oh, can I turn in partial stuff? Oh, I guess I can partially turn stuff in. I'll just wait till it's done. All right. Uh, dive number two. Yellowback fusilier. Its dorsal fin is yellow in its youth as it ages. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, so we're looking for, in particular, um, orange starfish. Oh, there we go. Some jellyfish. So this is a good eaten. Let's see if I can't get, oh. Oops. 
was going to say a higher star rating, but it looks like I can't yet. Ow. Oops. Accidentally poked an urchin and got bullied. Enhanced harpoon tip. That's fine. I'm sorry. Sleepy toy hammer. Doesn't do damage, but will sometimes put fish to sleep. Oh. Very interesting. The noise it makes is hilarious. Nice! That's a three star! Hey! Oh, I woke it up! Just tuned in, why are we hitting fish with a hammer? I mean, why aren't you hitting a fish with a hammer? Better question. Got some soy sauce. Caught that one. The noise. Trying to get a uh, three-star one of this, too. Come on. All right. I'm just taking you home. Ooh, let's put this big guy to sleep. Oh, I, it's too big? Wait, what does that noise mean? noise it makes is kind of a lot. <laughs> oh, this is new. here or not <laughs> I think this is a salmon I'm greeting so hard for this fish Mackerel. All right, I might die here. Oh, never mind. We're safe. I'm a genius. <laughs> I didn't do any plot stuff. Just the <laughs> your dog is so confused. I'm sorry. That squeaky hammer was amazing, though. We just got so many three-star fish. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that, you know? <clears throat> and we got a bunch of new ones too. So worth, I'm going to say worth. I'm not like speed running this game anyways, you know? So we got a couple of jellyfish, which was great. And then if we go down this way, two new fish, 
And then if we go to, I guess this is a little bit of quest progress. Lionfish was quest progress and so was killing jellyfish. So that's good. What's this? Oh, an employee. Hey, look, there's an applicant for the Bancho Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-see. This is Kyoko. Uh, ooh, 34 serving. Okay. How are you? Wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have. This is a pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. Oh, look, they're free. <laughs> Deal. I'm going to make money fast and go traveling, says Kyoko. Hiring complete. All right, looks like we have our first staff. Hired staff must be placed. You can place them in the kitchen or the dining area. Uh, 35 serving makes me think I want to put them in the that area. Add them to the kitchen to cook more quickly or the dining area to serve more quickly. As our first staff, let's try the dining area. I think that should be enough for now. Stating the obvious but, things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's also training to consider besides hiring, but that's all for now. We can research some new dishes here. All right, so these all cost three flame, so I could get them all. Oh, you ready for this? Nice. Culinary researcher, get five dishes. We'll pay them eventually, just not now. <laughs> Ooh, training. Oh my god! They become amazing! Wow, training is a lot. Let's leave it for now, because there's probably going to be a tutorial on training later on. Um, let's go to the menu here. And how are we looking? Okay, let's upgrade this dish. Oh, my favorite cutscene. The enhanced cutscene. Kajime and black vinegar. Need more black vinegar if we want that. That's fine. All right, let's get this on the menu for today. No. This needs to be enhanced. I still don't know what this icon at the bottom means. Does anybody know what this is talking about? When it says one. Right, because I have some that are like four or five. No, yeah, there. That's worth four. That's worth five. What is What does that number mean? But like, we only have individuals come in, so I'm confused by that. Hmm.
Maybe making one makes multiple servings? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I got no idea. It's like a good menu for the day. <clears throat> Maybe it's how many ingredients I have? Well, no, there's a different number for ingredients as well, right? So like this one at the bottom, we have three sets of ingredients. But this one, we only have one set of ingredient, but it's five chopsticks. Look to the left. Same icon under the Licky emote. Look to the left. Four out of four. Nine out of nine. Ten out of ten. So hold on, if I put this on the menu... Uh, never mind. I'll try that a different day. I don't know if it's demand either. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of speculating. Oh, like with the shark head, it could feed multiple people. Right, we put one up and multiple people had it. I think it is. Yeah, okay. So we could serve 10 people when we make it. No, no, no. I think you're right, chat. I think that is servings. Yeah. Wait, remaining menu will be discarded as the restaurant closes. What does discard? Does that mean I waste the food? Wait, does that mean it's bad to put all the food up? Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, oh. Well, I've been serving the things I have the most of every day. Yeah, you don't want more servings than you expect there to be people. I didn't realize that. All right, so 19, 21, 29 is what we're leaving with. And now that I've selected it, I would discard it. Okay. Uh, 29. Fascinating. So let's, uh, let's count how many people we see today, I guess. Would you like some tea? Good poor. No, I... So I, I spent too long trying to pour that one tea and I made a mistake. It's a little bit awkward. All right, we definitely need to get some kitchen help. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses. There'll be a little graph at the end. We don't, I don't need you to like count live, but I do appreciate that. All right, so we had serving for 21. Oh, there you go. You can see how much we wasted. Oh my God, we wasted 16 portions? Boo! Wait, no, 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 no. Awkward. Because I guess we had some dishes that served multiples. So, nine plus four plus three. This graph doesn't actually do a good job of telling me exactly how much we served. I know that we wasted a ton, 16 wasted. Wasted, that's our dinner? <laughs> uh, fair. Interesting.
So we managed to cook fast enough, which was good. Oh, hey, what's up, Yoshi? Forgot to tell you something. What's that, Miss Yoshi? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you'll have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you a management app which works on your smartphone. You can check out the current situation of Bancho Sushi at any time. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. Oh, I've already linked the app. Why don't you check it out on your smartphone? I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and, pos and prosper. What's up? What's up, Snack Pack? Total revenue. <laughs> Recently acquired. Top sales. It's not quite the spreadsheet I was looking for. Let's check out Cooksta. Sushi is the perfect light meal after a workout. I like the color, hee <laughs> hee. Oh, shark sushi has a manly taste. I feel stronger. So we need two more followers to hit silver. Oh. Pink shell. Oh, there we go. Research marine plants. So I can't eat the agar or kajime, but we can learn about it. Yo, game, yo, Takashi, this game is delightful. Oh. Research, 30 points. So we now level up. We're level two Eco Watcher now. And we got the Eco Health Bracelet. What does that do? Wait, do I have to remove five jellyfish at once? Mission target. Five fried egg jellyfish. Okay, so I guess killing them wasn't good enough. I have to kill them and then serve them. Sure. Oh, poison resistant bra bracelet. Okay. So let's see. Interesting. Oh yeah, here's the three stars we got. We got the three star batfish. We got the three star... Uh, snapper. We got the three star uh, Titan triggerfish. And then a three star comer as well. Oh, and a two star mackerel. That was new. Oh, it was the wrong jellyfish. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I'm looking for a thicker jellyfish, eh? Oh. So the fried egg jellyfish is a species of jellyfish. I understand now. No, 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 no. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. All right. So our goal is, um, let's actually try and do some plot stuff. Let's try and head towards the underwater sea people thing. Uh, but first, I've got some money. So let's maybe... It's interesting that there's different things that are calling our attention for money. Because I could also increase our staff, right? <sighs> actually, there's nothing more important than the cargo box. Nothing more important than the cargo box. Can't believe I've been wasting all my food. Honestly shocked. All right, and then a second chef, touche. I wonder when we get to upgrade our gloves and start collecting urchin. Enhanced harpoon tip, level two. You know what? I wish the bat made the noise from Super Smash Brothers when you hit him with the bat. You know, the sing. Is 
Is it worse to waste food? Or to not have enough for your customers? That's a good question. Okay, batting the, the red fish to death is bad. The lionfish to death, pardon me. Uh, I think I needed one more of- Ah! One of these for a quest. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um, I needed to get over to the right- Ooh, I think this is a new fish. Yes, it was. Good. Oh, that's a new fish too! And it's an enemy. Let's get the big gun out. Hello, are you a barracuda? The great barracuda. I think you're new as well. No. Oh, that's a wall. Uh, let's go under it just very quickly. I want I want to eat you. some oxygen down here. there's oxygen nearby? Maybe there's oxygen in here? Nice! Okay. There's an emergency exit right there. Please remember that. Oh, are you an orange starfish or red starfish? Ah, you're just red. That's okay. Maybe this will have more oxygen for us. Yes! Uh, that's a shark. It's okay. It'll leave me alone. Good job, shark. Got this rope. Uh, I think you're a new fish as well. Just, uh, spooky. Not in here at all. You love the fish in exploration, but the O2 timer kind of makes you anxious. That's fair. Nobody likes the idea of drowning. Um, oh, 19 meters away. All right. Uh, let's give it a go here. Wow, this is the place. Let's see. The signal is coming from inside. There are letters I've never seen written on the pillar. Mmm, if we had some kind of tool, we could move aside that pile of rocks to try going inside. I think it'd be best to talk about this with Cobra. Come on up for now. 
โอ้อู้I thought I heard something. I'd like to not die, please. There's squid down there too. We were a little bit too low for our pressure suit, so we're losing oxygen extra fast. Hi, Dr. Bacon. I found a place with a signal from the Sea People Civilization. I can't hold back my academic thirst to check it out. <laughs> I'm at an important symposium right now. Please talk it over with Cobra. I'll come by tomorrow. How to get rid of rock piles. Let me guess. A bomb. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? No, it's not. They'll kill you. Weren't you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a Mythbusters on this, which is fascinating. Uh, if you're curious, there's an, there's a like a meme or viral video going around of people who set off an explosion in the water and it causes a tidal wave. And then you surf on the wave and everyone's like, that's super cool. And then they're like, no, what happens is because your body is made of water, if there's an explosion in the water, the explosion passes right through your body and it kills you. The shock wave just kills you before the wave even hits you. Anyways, let's put a little trust in the sea's regenerative power. He's trying to gloss things over again, but there's an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert I know. Apparently, the ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. If I could use the drone I ordered, we could retrieve the supplies. Dave, can you go into the sea and retrieve drone materials? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge. Delivery boxes are likely to have carried by the ocean currents. Look for a place with ocean currents. Okay. New depth record, 91. Got a lot of stuff. Including some new fish. We got the Harlequin Hind, the Great Barracuda. Good stuff. Dude has a bomb guy. Why do we even hang out with him? <laughs> What's up, Featherweight? I mean, he's pretty open about the fact that he used to be a weapons dealer before he opened a sushi restaurant, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> so we got the research shell done. So I don't think we need any more pink shells. Never mind. Uh, we need five more pink shells. <laughs> All right. Uh, pink shells and orange starfish. And lots of seaweed. Gotcha. Is this just a weapons front for or a mafia front? It could be. I'm not saying it's not a mafia front. Uh, maybe time to upgrade your equipment. Wow. You gonna pay for it there, buddy? No? Okay. Maybe you mind your business then. <laughs> Come to think of it, we've already known each other for eight years now. I was having fun diving back near the unpronounceable rock. You suddenly wanted to get your suitcase that fell off the boat. Ah, real trouble back then. Right, there's the weapons dealer plot. Okay. All right, back into the water. So now we're looking for current flow stuff. That's fine. An aggressive carnivore with black eyes and white fins. Oh. Oh, this is all new. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, this is so different. I don't know if I've caught one of these little redfish before. Oops, I missed. 
Oh, no, it's a cardinal fish. That's not new. So orange is good. Um, all of this kelp and stuff is good. Yeah, I thought some of these were new. Oh. Ow. Uh, I think you might need to as well. Yeah, you were. Awesome. Uh, these are good eating. I missed. Oops, I missed. Oops, I'm cook. <laughs> wow, I'm so good at video games. Alright, I think this is a new fish to us as well. Can I hit anything today? What is happening? Hey, how's it going, triple? so many new fish right now. Nice. Some back backup oxygen. Alright, I'm not getting any of the stuff I need for quests, but I'm getting a lot of just other good stuff and fish progress, which makes me happy. Um, let's... Yeah. Eventually, we're going to eat a an eel. I'm telling you. I don't know when, but one of these days we'll make it happen. What's up, Lirazel? I don't know if I've caught one of these ones yet, so let's give it a try. No, just a blue tang. Okay. One more of these for a quest. Okay, so that's a quest done, which is good. I don't know how much more copper I need. I'll take it. Are we big sushi yet? I'd say we're medium sushi at this point. Oh, it got away. Try again. Nice, an air refill. Oh, I think these are new fish for me too. have ammo? Yes. Uh, it only has five bullets and that's unlimited. Uh, also, the harpoon gets them back at a higher at a higher quality. Um, so this gets them as two star and if you kill them, which the other weapon does, it only has them at uh, one star quality, which like again, I don't know what that actually, come on! I don't know what that actually has to do in terms of like food quality. Maybe just a quantity thing? I don't know if I have this green fish. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I 
All right, so down here. Stop it. So they said go down where there's water currents. Aha! Hi. Stop it. Stop it. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Weight limit? Yeah, it's fine. I can see it. It's got giant flashing red on it. You can actually go over your weight limit a little. The weight limit is just a suggestion. Oh, there's another artifact there too. And by artifact, I mean fish friend. Uh, we already have a skull. That's fine. Let's find a way out of here. Ooh, there we go. Another excellent day. We got one of the three quest items we did, and I think we got another couple of quests done as well. fish caught. So that's not the last one we needed. But look at this. Bunch of new fish. Wow. A lot of new fish, actually. Good stuff. It's time to upgrade your equipment. My dude. My dude. Once you start paying for it. <laughs> Alright, 10 research points for that. Oh, there we go. Overpopulated invasive fish level 2. Now, the good news is the lionfish and the triggerfish are good eating as well. So I'm pretty happy when they aggressively come at us. Three, four... Five, Ooh, six. Yeah, so if you can get it with the stun gun, you get a two-star version. If you just kill it with like the, the shotgun or your knife, you only get the one-star version. And then if you can if you can capture it without killing it, you get the three-star version. And I guarantee you there are people who are gonna try and get three stars of every single fish, and that ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> Any completionists in the chat? Sometimes, yes, unfortunately. Dex completion, not 100%, that's fair. Have you tried catching two different versions of the same fish to see what the difference is? I think it's just the collectible type variable. I don't think it gives you different food because it doesn't show in here, for example, that you have uh, like one star versus three star fish. Let's see if we can't put another ad in here. We are hiring. Liar ad is 50, eh? Recruit staff at a higher level than your current cookster rating. That's kind of cool. Let's put this in. $50 reduce. I really need a chef. You might have decoration upgrade. They're, they cost money. I'm kind of nervous. I don't really want to put money in. Also, it doesn't show a... Like, it doesn't show having any... Um, 
update or like an upgrade to it, if that makes sense. I think it, I don't know if it's just purely decorative or not. Oh, sake bottles. Christmas garland, okay. I like, I like the photo of the owner more than I like, uh, what is this little snowman decoration? I like the funky dive bar decor. Anyways, let's put the menu together here. All right, so last time 24 was way too much. So... A lot of level one dishes here. Oh yes, it's time. Auto supply. It's an interesting idea. Try it. It's an interesting suggestion. So the question here is do we waste anything? Which is a very interesting idea, right? So we know that we had six of both of these, right? So let's try a couple of things otherwise. Um, this serves five. Like try not to overly, <laughs> overly offer too much food. You know what I mean? Oh, interesting. Even the humble painted comber is worth a bunch now. Um, what else can I put on the menu today? I want to keep kajime, um, frogfish. No. So just in case that goes wrong, let's put three of these up, right? What's up, Tex? Happy Canada Day. Thank you, friend. So what do we got? We got three, eight, and then this is potentially 12 each? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know what auto supply does, if it uses it all or not. Huh, let's try it out. All right, I think that's gotta be enough. I don't know, let's find out. Let's see if I have too little food this time. So, one of one, one of one, but that has auto supply, right? So, wow. What does that mean? Let's test. Cook. 
Desperately need another cook. You gonna grab those dirty dishes there, bud? No? No, 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 You good? So, uh, can anybody, anybody watching those items? Like, are those dishes going out fast enough? I can't tell. No, one of one. It's now served. It's, oh, it's sold out. Okay, that's real bad. Okay, so I only have one of those, huh? On the plus side, it looks like I'm not wasting any food here. So maybe that was good? No, no, no. Maybe it was infinite and I sold all of it out. And I only waste one. Oh, I think auto supply... I think auto supply is actually the secret tech. Yeah, I think... I think auto supply is the good way to go. And the only time we're ever under five stars is if I overfill my tea. So, yes, maybe that's the meta. I have no idea. I have no idea what the downside is for that. Oh, it's a rainy day, our first rainy day. Hey, Boiler Snake, thank you so much for 34 months, friend. Looks like my makeup pouch. Interesting. <laughs> this food is really good. I'm touched. Man, Bancho, your images are just so good. <laughs> Hashtag man cook. Hashtag real chef. Hashtag sushi chef. All right, what do we get as a rank up to silver? Hi, sweetie. Welcome home. Oh, <gasps> yum, meow. We have a very, I think these are government officials. That's my guess. Oh, no, it's the health inspectors. <laughs> They're holding the fish. <laughs> oh, oh. That's the, the official uh, silver award deliverers. Moray eel curry, striped red mullet tangle roll, and the white Diwali kombu ochazuke. Oh my god, 18 added interior. I'm gonna die without cooking staff. Actually going to die. All right, so we can research some stuff if we wanted to. Oh, yo, you ready? It's time. All right, well, all right, this is Takash. If only one of each dish is selected and auto supply is turned on. Only as many dishes are sold will be made. This means if five are purchased during the night, the other four possible dishes and ingredients will be tossed at the end of the night. This helps to save Dave the Diver players a bunch of fish and seasonings and doesn't seem to extend the time it takes to meet each dish either. Oh, that's huge. So I don't understand why you just wouldn't do auto for everything then. Cool, thank you for looking that up, by the way. I appreciate that, Takash. Auto supplies upside only, using only as many ingredients as you sell. Yeah, that's huge. Wait, why, why am I back here? No, it's morning, I'm just in the restaurant. Say hi to the cat. Yeah, I don't understand why that isn't the default, for sure. Hi, Meow Meow. Let's talk to our staff. Hello. Opening only for the evening, but I'm too exhausted at such a late hour. Oh, you'll be fine, Kyoko. Food with high taste score will increase customer satisfaction. Never stop learning.
Uh, what does this mean? Oh, that means we have, that's our ad placement. So maybe we can hire a new chef. All right, let's go uh, boat, boat. So we need to upgrade our deep sea diving and we need to leave a little bit of extra money so we can hire people too. All right, let's check our cooksta first, our cookstagram. Hey, we got a silver trophy. We have been recognized. All right, I diver. Upgrade this diving suit. Shing! What do you need to make the trank gun? We need to find it a second time. And I don't believe we actually even get to know what the recipe is. Yeah, until... Um, until you find it the first time, right? So we need to find it one more time and then we need to collect it and craft it. All right. Let's go. I wonder if rain brings out different fish. The clown frogfish. Look at its little feeties. It has a mouth that protrudes outward like a frog's. Oh, uh, that starfish is excellent for us. That seaweed is also excellent for us. Oh, there's an ingredient there. Oops, I'm so good at this game. Get back here. Die. <laughs> oh, what are you? No, you you are not new. That's fine. So we might get uh, another cooking ingredient here. Was oh, this eel about to hit me? I dodged you. Someday. Technically, for plot purposes, I should be kind of just like gunning it towards where the vents are. Oh, never mind. Here's a gun. Maybe we can get some meta progress this way. This way. Wouldn't it be easier to buy stuff in the supermarket? I don't know. See any supermarkets down here in the blue hole? No, we live off the land. We use every part of the blue hole, including its olive oil. <laughs> Fresh from the sea. Oops. What do we got here? A shock bang stick. A type of stick that discards... Alright, whatever. We can boop things now. Are you good eating? I think you're good eating as well. I can't remember. I think everything's good eating. The fact that I can upgrade all of the recipes makes me extremely happy. Ooh, good. More, uh, more starfish. I have a quest to kill you, and also you're delicious. <laughs> Open Steam. Uh, a gentle reminder. I don't know if you can get this off of other stores, and I don't want to push this too much. But, um... Oh, there's a shark. If you get it from any other store and you get a Steam code, you can put in your favorite creator's code. Doesn't have to be mine. 
but uh, goes a long way to supporting your favorite creators if you can use their affiliate codes. Steam does not have an affiliate code. But if you're having fun and you're enjoying this game, like, don't let that stop you. That'll be my one and only plug today. Okay, we got a little submersible now. Can't stop eating everything. All right, I need to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Oh, is that an anglerfish? Hold on, we might have to go eat that. Oh. Don't know what's going on down here. Uh, let's grab this metal too, why not? Where's this affiliate code? So if you go to Humble or you go to Epic, when you go to the checkout, it'll ask you to put an affiliate code, and you just put in Surge Jaeger. Or you can do that for basically any other any other creator. It doesn't have to be my code. I guarantee you that your favorite creators have one. I need to eat you. God! No, no, no! Get back in here. Nope. Come back here. I'm not done with you. There we go. All right. Oh, I was going to say we're a little bit overweight, so I should stop grabbing stuff. And then it showed me more starfish. <laughs> Got Dave the Diver, Merchant of the Skies, and a bundle. Oh. Well, whatever makes you happy. Again, not your dad. I'm not going to tell you how to, how to do your online shopping. But just something to have in the back of your head, you know? Ooh. Barracuda. yet either. Okay, we're down here. I can leave. I can leave. I can stop whenever I want. Ooh, you are a new friend. Can I? How dare you? Well, oh, that's a new fish too. Sniper rifle. Uh, anybody else notice that? Oh, I thought that was a fin for a second. Cavalier Giraffe, what's up, friend? This game is amazing. Please, I just want to eat you. Is that too much to ask? Come home with me. I hunger. I think this is a tuna. How much does my camera shake when I'm smashing keys to catch these things? <gasps> this looks new. <laughs> Joe's actually worried my camera's gonna fall off the desk. <laughs> uh, honestly, fair. You think I can discard? How do I open my inventory to discard stuff? Here we go. I can discard stuff. Um, what should we drop? Lead seems good. No, agar we need for... Agar we need for quests. Wood is a good call. Is it alphabetical or is it an order of acquisition? Yeah, agar and stuff we need. I don't know if we need any more reds. Yeah, wood is a good call. Um, wood could be for restaurant upgrades, but I think it's all... I think the red starfish can go too. All right. Iron ore. All right, let's... I think it's about time for us to hit the old dusty... <gasps> I wanted you. I wanted you. I didn't even pick up the giant tavoli. Uh, I don't think I need brown seashells right now either, do I? Get 
get the lead out. I think lead is new to us, though. I think I want lead. Uh, cardinal fish I can probably get rid of. Oh my goodness. How thick is this fish? definitely grab lead ore on a previous dive. Yeah, but I think I want it. Stop trying to tell me to drop my lead. I want the lead. <laughs> uh, this is a rank one fish. Let's drop this. I don't know. Fish is five kilos. All right. And how much? What am I at right now? All right. Tell you what, I'll drop the iron keeping this lead. No, fine. I'll, if I need lead for something, though, chat, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. If you lead me astray. Wow, five more kilos. <gasps> it's rank four meat. All right, this is fine. You ever sell that pearl? No, I keep forgetting, Featherweight. Our new deepest depth, 109 meters. This was good stuff. Look at this. Rank four meat. Ooh. And we had that gold bar too, yeah. Hey, um, I'm gonna take a short break because speaking of food I've got my own food it's not sushi so here's my plan let's just hang out for like 10 or 15 minutes I'm gonna just leave the the really chill background music on and let's eat this talk about basically whatever and then uh, we'll get back to this game which I'm absolutely in love with by the way I'm having so much fun today <laughs> Joe said she was really tempted to get a sushi. <laughs> mm. But we had leftover pizza from last night, so that's fine. How's it going, everybody? What's up? What's new? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anybody got any um, exciting weekend plans? Uh, pizza is protein layered on carbs, basically sushi. You're right. You're right. The only upside is the meat is cooked. <laughs> I don't know if I'd enjoy this ham if it was not cooked. <laughs> ah, and some raw pork. You're going to do PowerPoint night with friends tomorrow night. I need information, Jax. Look, I love a spreadsheet. Probably more than the average person does. But what do you mean PowerPoint night with you and the friends? I'm really curious. Playing some Blades in the Dark in about 20? Nice. Get to play with a 3D printer tomorrow. Very cool. Checking out a board game cafe bar today. Ooh, and then start Demon Slayer? The anime? I really enjoyed Demon Slayer until they introduced a character who didn't have a personality other than screaming, and I dropped it. But I've heard, I have some friends who absolutely love it. Absolutely love that show, including, like, season two is supposed to get even better. Alright, PowerPoint night. Everyone picks a topic they're super excited about and puts together a presentation on it and then presents it to the captive audience of the rest of us. Fascinating. I mean, yes, but I've never thought of that as a social event. That's wild. Huh. That's kind of fun. 
Yeah, just like, let's all sit down and learn something. Huh. Huh. Yo! You got to check out Cafe Jindo yesterday. The owner sure is passionate. I hope you had a good time, Coolar. So that was our favorite new cafe to go to in Calgary. The apologetic stealth coffee nerd. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Was your experience amazing or was it too much? Because it was incredible for us. And Joe wants to know, is there a summer ice cream menu out yet? I need I need to know more, Kualar. The ice cream menu seemed to be the same as when you were there. Okay, okay. Good to know. Cafe Jindo is the place that the guy literally pulled out, like, drippers of minerals to reintroduce uh, the exact distribution of minerals to the water he wanted because it was so purified. And I am there for it. But I realize that that's a lot and that's not for everybody. <laughs> but when I watch this man... Pull out literally a dripper with magnesium in it. And I was like, okay, I have found my people. Joe was like, our contribution was introducing him to Marmite. Which I don't think isn't necessarily an equivalent exchange. Hmm. You had a great time and talked to the owner for like 30 to 40 minutes about coffee. That's rad. I'm super glad to hear that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Going back to this idea of like interesting PowerPoint presentations on stuff. The only time I've ever done something similar, um, one of the tech startups I worked at a million years ago, when that's what I was doing before streaming, I, uh, I had one company that about once a month, they wanted somebody to come forward and just talk about their passion or share about something. And so over a lunch hour, I did a coffee presentation. And Joe actually, oh my God, I think I have the photo on Instagram. Joe actually came down and helped so that I could um, I could continue to make coffee while being quite busy. Let's see if I can find the photo. I think my hair looked really cute in the photo at the time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Here's here's a young Surge working at a tech startup making coffee for all of my coworkers. And you could tell it's like a, a tech startup because there's little camper vans in the background. And that was our, those were our breakout rooms for, uh, we'd have meetings in those. That's a good haircut. Thank you. Isn't that cute? That's a very cute photo of me, eh? So yeah, that's so tech startup. Yep. <laughs> What was the startup? Uh, what company was that? I think I was working for a company called Pretio. Yeah, this was, I did a 10K run with one of my other coworkers and that's us doing the run together. Oh yeah, there's, there's another shot of around that same era with that, a similar, if not the same haircut. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Boy band surge isn't real and can't hurt you. Thanks, thanks. Anyways. Serge, you're one of those people I get angry at because you're obviously older, but you don't age. Oh my God. I think also, sorry, I have to reopen that Instagram. I think I also have a side-by-side -side shot. Did I not post it there? Maybe I didn't put it on. Maybe I didn't put it on Instagram. Maybe I just put it on Twitter. 
Please hold. You weren't following me on Instagram? I don't post all that often, so like that. I wouldn't worry about it too much. And when I do, it's like, if, if you want more coffee content, follow me on Instagram. It's that or very rarely uh, behind the scenes shots from filming days, but again, very rarely. I'm on this like absolute weird hunt for an old photo instead of eating my pizza. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do 10 more seconds of searching. 10 more seconds of searching. Five, four, three, two, two, two. Found it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, these photos were eight years apart. Fun one is which folder am which photo am I older in? <laughs> the left one or the right one? <laughs> Those are the same picture. Clearly shocked. The left is younger, the right is older. It's the opposite. I'm eight years older in the left photo than the right photo. I'm actually, this is the same sweater that I'm wearing in this photo. So that's the modern photo. And this is the older folio, photo. It doesn't help that I'm wearing the same chain in both. Oh, you can't, yeah. Because I've worn this chain basically every day since I was like 18. The wrinkles there, they're they're fake because I'm the, eye, the eyebrows up. Yeah, some background. This photo is taken at the old parsonage, which wouldn't be open nowadays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hair gave it away. Fair. Yeah, there is a there is a joke that there's a a cappuccino in an attic aging in my place somewhere, you know? Oh. So this slice is even bigger than the previous slice, which is exciting, but it's gonna take a while. This is chain of a special meeting. Yes, a special meeting, pardon me. This was given to me by my best friend when we were in high school, and I've worn it ever since. Basically every single day since. I think there's only been two or three days since where it hasn't been on, which is wild. I'm basically not going to change until I'm 60 or 70. And then at that point, I'm basically going to turn into a prune. That'd be okay. I'd be okay with that. Am I still friends? Yep. Yeah. I tried to I tried to visit her when we were in Calgary, but she was not feeling 100%, which was too bad. So we didn't get to catch up. Why is pizza so good? Man, we don't deserve pizza. Carbs and salt and cheese. 
Been on a weird vibe the last few years and not craving pizza. I mean, that's fair. It's pretty heavy. I'm on day is it six now? Five? One, two, three. Oh, this is today. Today is day six of a 30 day get fit challenge. And I'm also on day three in a row of eating pizza. Uh, uh oh. We got large pizza and this is leftovers, but still. Your body needs carbs. Apparently, it also needs cheese. You told us a while ago that you lost weight. I lost 60 pounds in 2013, which is a million years ago at this point. So most modern, like most photos you'd see of me on the internet would be from that point forward. It'd be, I don't think, I just wasn't posting as much on the internet uh, before then, because I just wasn't on the internet as much before then. This image just post popped into right, my chat. Tumblr feed. You asked for it here. Uh oh. Oh, this is from the ice cream adventure. <laughs> what? What have you found? Sorry. How did this show up? No context on Tumblr. All right, chat. You asked for it. Here it is. Road Quest Two Park Edition. The hunt for ice cream. <laughs> what? Oh, James Vino, the idea. Sorry, chat. No road quest to blame James. That's a mosquito. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, I can't I can't keep watching that. Somebody might swear. That was not a family friendly stream. <laughs> but thank you, Chrono. Thank you for sharing that. There's a Tumblr account that reposts loading ready run out of context. Huh! Interesting. I didn't know that. That ice cream stream was fun. Yeah. I mean, it was about a year ago now. Maybe we could do it again. To be fair, we are um, just a little busy <laughs> moving offices. Oh, man. So last night, and this was actually delightful, we just hung out. Like, no work, cameras off. I think, uh, not everybody, but probably a good like 80% of the Lure people just went to the new office. We got pizza <laughs> and we just hung out. Yeah, hanging out with friends on a Friday night. What are the chances, right? It was delightful. Sounds like XP waste. Think of all that great content we could have did. I got I got another secret for you. We also played magic. <laughs> you know of any behind the scenes content being filmed for the move? Yes, there's almost certainly gonna be a loading time. Expect expect a story to unfold. Joe just asked me if I told him about the mountain toilet. So when we were road tripping through, when we were road tripping from Vancouver to Calgary, um, there's a lot of like dead spots for cell phone reception and for radio reception. So for the vast majority of the drive, all we did was listen to like local CBC radio, which is awesome, by the way. Did you have a man's romance getting to that? And one of the weird interview things we heard was... A person released a book called, like, The 100 Most Unique Tourist Attractions in Alberta. 
And one of them is at the very top of Castle Mountain, there is a toilet with no walls and just a 360 degree view. It's almost at the summit of Castle Mountain, a 360 degree view of the Rocky Mountains. Just a throne from which you can look upon your kingdom. And uh, yeah, I've done Beej a disservice by not telling him that this exists, you know? And it's far enough away and it's high enough away that even if somebody was looking at you with binoculars, they wouldn't be able to uh, to know what you were up to. <laughs> All right, give me one sec to wash up. Then we'll get back to the game. Be right back. All right, everybody, we are back. So this is our second dive of the day. We've got a ton of fish. We've got a ton of other stuff. I think the goal now is just to try and hunt for meta progress. And maybe also, maybe also orange starfish. All right, seaweed, orange starfish, and uh, meta progress. That's it, all right? All right. <laughs> hey, Firehawk Zoa, thank you so much for using your prime here, friend. I appreciate the 17 months. You're great. You could also get that recipe. Or that cooking, whatever it is. Pardon me. Pardon me. <clears throat> uh, this is a quest. I missed. I missed. I missed. Ooh, more olive oil. Was that the name of Popeye's girlfriend? Olive oil? Gun. Flame tipped harpoon. Please explain to me how that works underwater. <laughs> Ooh, W and D. I 
don't like this mini game. <gasps> What's that? Oh my god, the small net gun. Fires a gun that fires a small net. Targets caught will be of higher grade. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is what we're looking for. I catch you. <gasps> it's an anglerfish! Uh... Please. Yes. Ooh, the Atlantic anglerfish. Okay, got the microchip. I think we're about to get another pearl here. Uh, no. Oh, it was full of air. How unexpected. All right, remember there's air down there too. I don't know if it's going to be relevant, but you know. <gasps> oh, uh, what's in here? More air. Okay. That's the quest MacGuffin that I need. This. Oh, what's this? Sea grape. That looks like a hamburger. Ow! Did I catch it? Light spotted jellyfish. Do you think it's good eating? So this is not the egg. Are you? No. Red starfish, I think. This is so many jellyfish BT dubs. No, 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 no. much loot on me. <clears throat> Why stop there? Pearl? No. Simply more loot. No, 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 no. What's up, meat stack? <gasps> the dart gun. Yes. Oops. Oops. Crap. No! Oh, I missed all my shots. All right, uh, this red one is new. Please come back. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I wasted literally all of my shots there. I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh, uh, I think I need to kill both of these for a quest as well. So let's do this right now. I like that the predator attacks me, right? It goes, I'm gonna get you. And then you're like, okay, then let's scrap. And then it turns around and says, no, not like that. <laughs> That makes me smile. Oh, I can't pick up anything. What about, oh, what am I good? Leave me alone. Oh, I'm, okay. The predator got too close. Um, let me... Crap. Let me drop some stuff here. I think I can drop all the pink seashells as well. Um, uh, don't know if I need the foot bone or not. And get rid of these one star jellyfish. There. I want one other fish that I probably don't have a three star of. Make it you. <clears throat> Why are you sighing at me, Anime Kitty? I'm very good at video games. How dare you? I don't need the red starfish. I can't remember. There's one that I had a bunch of. And then I was like, I don't need this anymore. And the next level of quests that I needed more. And maybe it was red shells or something. I can't remember. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. I'm 13 meters from the top. Can't check my smartphone underwater, unfortunately. The egg jellyfish is down and to the right. Oh, the new one down there? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> There's no research pop-up when you got the red one? Okay, that's good to know. There's a lot to keep track of when you're underwater, chat. Hey, question. Is chat behaving again? And by chat, I mean Twitch, or is things uh, still broken? Hear about the kid who started business tying shoelaces on the playground? Not for profit? Nice. <laughs> All right, Cobra. We should be able to deploy the drone with this. Still broken. Maybe leveled out a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hey, you look exhausted. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he's got a cool scar over his eye too. Neat. Mm. It'll take some time to repair the drone and deploy it. Please wait. Should be done by tomorrow morning. So go out your business by then. I mean, that's fine. Wow, that's a lot of money. Holy moly. That'll get us some huge upgrades. Uh, we also managed to finish the Hush Dart, uh, which I think is very cool. Did we get a second chef? We'll find out when you get back to the restaurant. Hopefully we'll have some applicants. And we got some good stuff here. Oops. Oh, crap. Uh, shoot. I really hope I can go back to that. Maybe through the manager? That was literally the screen to let me hire new people. And I hit escape and I just quit through it. So... Oh my god. I'm going to be devastated if I accidentally skip through that. Maybe when we get back, we can, um, maybe when we get back, we'll get a chance. All right, real quick. What does this cost? Starfish, orange starfish, copper ore, and money. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think we can do it at the restaurant. All right, we only need one more orange starfish for this quest, which is cool. 
Yeah, crap. I did need the pink shells. Shoot. I need four more pink shells. That's too bad. Oh, well. Nice. Couple new three stars from the hush gun. Couple new two stars as well. <clears throat> All right, we need a new cook. Desperately need a new cook. So let's go to staff. There we go. Add staff. You have no staff. There we go. Uh, oh, wow. This is the most well. Oh my God. They're so expensive. I can't afford to hire anybody. Are you kidding me? Oh, right. I should try and sell stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So ingredients, other. Where's the pearl and where's the gold bar? So I can't sell those, which is too bad. Um, how much? Hold on. Let's go to seafood. <clears throat> you have to sell those to Cobra on the boat. Interesting. Where's the UI for that? Because when I try talking to him, it doesn't show up. Uh, but that's fine. I'll just sell stuff. We're going to hire James the cook. So I've got a bunch of stuff here that sells for 10 each. That's rank four. Uh, what about some rank one fish? Two each. You know what? This is fine. Uh, I can sell three of these. Oh, I, just, I can't sell it yet because I'm not far enough in the story. That's fine. Okay. And I can upgrade that twice. 15 to sell the puffer. There we go. We're going to hire James to be a cook? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I mean, the 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 murderer mask is an interesting, you know, interesting addition, but this is fine. Ugh. Uh. Yeah, you seem fine. You know what? I'm confident that this guy knows how to wield the knife. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Hockey mask, very Canadian. It is Canada Day. It's only appropriate that we hire the Canadian, right? All right. Um, so, what can we serve that people be happy about? This looks great. And now let's spend some time enhancing some dishes here. All right, my favorite part. You ready? Oh, this is the one with the fish face. This is my favorite so far.
Oh, my first level four dish. Another menu item? Dare I? There we go. What does auto do? Um, we looked it up earlier. I believe it was Takash who helped us in chat where it automatically supplies ingredients without ever wasting anything. Did you want to auto them all? Yes, apparently. We saw it before and like auto just makes it better. I don't know where Takash got that information from. You missed the agar bowl? No, I only have one. There's no point in doing this because I, I literally only have one ingredient worth. So I missed nothing. Nice try. No, turns out I'm perfect. <laughs> Our big ecological disaster. You could describe what we're doing as a small ecological disaster. That's right, Snurge. Oh, look, there's our new chef. Look at him. Oh, he's so ready. All right, you ready? Perfect in every way. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing my perfection. All right, I'm gonna be pouring some tea here, I bet ya. Hello. Perfect. Anybody else? <clears throat> okay, uh, this is a problem. Oh god. Oh god, they're so far. <laughs> I'm so slow. <laughs> oh god, I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm coming with your chi. Hold. Food. I'm out of I'm, I'm, I'm out of wasabi. Uh, oh, I think that's five out of five star. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is getting stressful. Oh my god. Yo, look at these stonks. Wait, wait, what do you mean 4.9? How did I lose 0.1? No, no, no. All right, do we hire another server or do we simply train our server to be better? I'm gonna just train our existing employee. Let's invest in our staff. I think one person had to wait a medium amount of time and they're like, this is unacceptable. Those dirty dishes on a counter, terrible. Hi, Dr. Bacon. Sorry, I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symposium. Did you speak with Cobra? Come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was repairing a drone yesterday. Oh, a bit late, aren't I? Ha <laughs> ha! Repaired the drone just fine, thanks to you. I got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Also. Oh, thank you. Dr. Bacon. Will these do? Let's head back to that rock pile. Oh, wait. I haven't finished. Starting today, the Cobra shop is open. Hey, I'll buy more those pearls, I guess. What's that? Ha <laughs> ha! Deliveries have stopped, but with the drones in working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Talk to me and select the Cobra shop to see a list of changes every day. I'll also buy stuff you don't need. Check out the sell tab. I have a feeling you'll be charging high prices. It's nice to be able to prepare. 
I won't charge high prices just because I've got the only business here. Delightful. I feel like you let our business tactics slip just now. In any case, it's time to head to that rock pile. Okay. All right. Well, apparently I can sell stuff now. Let's give this a try. The Cobra Premium Shop. Just in case there's something worth documenting inside. How about this underwater camera? That's right. It'll be important for research to record important data with photos. I said important twice in the same sentence. Take the camera and I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. Oh, it's the exact same, except it says shop now. Sure. Today's items. Oh, oxygen tank expansion. One time use. Oh, I can sell all kinds of stuff, including this pearl. Hundred dollar dues. Oh, large gold bar. Wow. Starry Puffer Poison Sack. Oh, I shouldn't have dropped those spines. They're worth good money. Silver Bulls. I like it when it just straight up says, sell it. Because then you don't, I mean, you've all played video games before where you're like, I have to hold on to this forever just in case. <laughs> oh, wow. The bones can be used for crafting weapons. I could get another cook. Oh, I could get another staff. They could be a cook or even somebody else. Or I could invest it all in me. So for example, um, oh wait, let's check out Instagram first. Pardon me, Cookstagram. Got to make sure, you know, we're staying on top of our socials here. Eat well and lose weight. Wow. So to rank up again, we need 100 followers. You love games that mark items as sellable and junk, right? All right, uh, let's go to iDiver here. And so another another staff member was what, like 700? So in theory, I could upgrade our, wow, that's a big increase. I can increase our cargo box. I still feel like that's the biggest limitation. Let's do this. And let's save ourselves $600 dues with which to train our staff. All right, what are we doing on Eco Watcher? All right, please remember one orange starfish and four pink shells. You got that? One orange starfish, four pink shells. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I have no idea. I'm hoping if we upgrade our, our server's serving ability, she like moves faster or whatever, but we'll see. Because we've never done this before. All right, down we go. One red lionfish. We don't really have to hunt for predators. It's specifically, um, we've been dropping items from our storage area. And so the things that we have to hold on to, like the enemies that we have to kill are are whatever, because they don't take up a space. Oh, awesome. I think that's a pink shell as well, or is that brown? That's brown, whatever. All right, there's the orange starfish we needed. That's big. Oh, nice. Back of oxygen, too. That's huge. Uh, you're brown. I don't care about you. Poor brown shell. Ooh, enhanced harpoon tip. Good stuff. Barracuda. 
Oops. No. This is bad. That was so bad. I got bullied, chat. <clears throat> So I'm going to try and hold on to this for as long as I can. Oh, I should have switched to my shoddy. Maybe this shouldn't flash this red. Oh. Sorry about the flashing. <clears throat> we managed to preserve that, which is what I really wanted to do. Uh, these are the hamburger ones. Uh, I think this actually helps me. Ow. Oh, are you pink? What color are you? Brown. Let's eat this right now. This one's pink for sure. Nice. No, leave me alone. No bully. No bully. I'm gonna skip that just so I can buy it. Oh, wrong gun. No, oh, I said wrong gun. <laughs> Crap. Crap. It's so hard to aim the tranquilizer gun. You have no idea. Go to bed. an oxygen thing right here. Too big. That's too bad. Did you try out the net? Yep. All good. You know, it's sort of hard to see through the radio. We can't have you torn to a thousand pieces and become food for the sharks. Thanks, Bacon. Now, back away from the bomb. What if there's a monster or something? That'd be amazing for science. All right. <clears throat> In we go, my friends. You ready? Go to new region. Oh, my God. You love Dr. Bacon? <gasps> What's this? 
see people record chamber. Wow, this place is wow. It appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There definitely was a sea people civilization in the region. Look at that mural. No human could have painted that. Maybe they're from some ancient civilization that sank. A good point, but that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. We're on radio, Bacon. <laughs> okay. Please first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find some interesting clues. Is that a fish? What is that? This can't be a natural pillar. It has mysterious characters. This mural seems to be of a warrior or a king. It looks powerful. There seem to be scales on the lower body. <clears throat> What's that? I'll take it home. Painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently sea people could draw. Not only write. That should be enough. I'd like to research a little more. Could you take a photo with your camera? Yes. How do I do that? Take a picture with your camera. How do I do that? Oh. <laughs> oh, my O2 is paused. I didn't notice that. That is nice. Thank you. Camera icon. Let's you take a picture. Oh. Okay, that's a little awkward. I see something on the floor there. Might be another Sea People artifact. Bring it to me. <gasps> We're surrounded by invisible Sea People. It's the sound from before. A record chamber filled with Sea People symbols. What could they have written? Didn't, did you hear anything, Bacon? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Come back to the boat for now. Go back to the boat? Not yet. We've got more looting to do. Sorry. I'm um, getting a little spooked. Just a medium amount of spooked. This is all probably fine. It's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. I wonder if I can turn the screen shake off. Sure can't. All right, good talk. All right, so, ooh, more seaweed. Let's just grab a couple more supplies before we leave, right? We got, we got plenty of space left in the old bag. You're brown? Useless to me. Yeah, hunt for some more stuff. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't fought you before. Oh, God. Uh, I can't actually hurt that right now. Because I don't have any... I don't have any gun left. Hello? Please don't mind me. Ow. Ow. Oh, there's a quick time dodge event. Oh, I'm so good at video games. You see me dodge that?
So the way that event works is you don't need to max it out. You need to have it above the threshold when the timer goes out, which was something I didn't quite understand at the time. Oh, great. A gun enhancement kit. Sure. All right. I don't need sea grape for anything. So I'll leave there. Don't need that. Don't need that. Ooh, gun. Gun? Uh, this is brown, not pink, right? Yeah. Yeah, orange starfish is done. We're just looking for... Oh, God! Uh, we are looking for, um, pink shell. Maybe some other stuff while we're at it. Second here. Brown shell we can drop. We have the orange starfish that we need. That's fine. Silver bowls are worth money now that we've learned that. Pink shell is fine. We don't need these sea grapes for anything. Uh, flasks we can sell. Even with our expanded capacity, <clears throat> feeling pretty full right about now. There's a pink shell behind me. Are you sure it wasn't the brown one we just passed? Because we, we went by one and said it was brown. Is it the one that was down there? Down there? Where? In the grotto. So that one's brown. Yeah. You've been outvoted two to one. People saying that's the wrong color. I want this three star fish. I only need one of the, I need to make room for a lot more stuff than that. Um, <clears throat> five kilos worth of angler fish, except it's tier one. Uh, I think this is a brown shell as well, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, let's keep heading to the right, because I think to the right there's also the jellyfish that we want to be hunting. We need Avar for a quest. Wait, I thought I needed that. Or maybe it's just food? All right, never mind. Uh, you are some kind of upgrade. On the plus side, we've stayed down for a very long time right now, eh? Here, we're gonna skip the Adar now. That's a brown shell. That's a blue shell. <clears throat> Give that mill some space. Yes! Hello! I need to kill five of you. One. Ah, ah, ah. Can't pick that up because I'm too heavy right now. That's fine. Hey, check this out. Right near the jellyfish, there's also a, a, a way home. Ooh, 
Ooh, I can capture it live, maybe. Go to sleep. Shh. <laughs> uh, that's a shark. You know what? Maybe we just leave. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Good day. Very good day. Got a lot of stuff done. You want to play this game with a spreadsheet? Write stuff down based on sell price? Well, I like that it's the only criteria isn't just sell price. It's also quest and meta progress and, you know, completion and Pokemon. Darken doesn't work on the shark? I don't know. Uh, it seemed to seem, it seemed like it needed bullet. Anyways, the Sea People Artifact. Hmm. Very interesting. Glad you like it. I'll have to analyze this artifact and the mural further at my lab. I'll be in touch soon. Bye! <laughs> oh! Uh... Oh! <laughs> oh! Hey! I heard an explosion! What's going on? I, I, I... We are Sea Blue! An organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and we report them. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those who, who commit particularly evil deeds. I've had reports of someone who's been engaging in mindless destruction of the environment in these parts. I don't know if it was you, but better be aware of this. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. Reports them to who? I'm assuming it's uh, one and two. And me, John Watson. Now then, be ever grateful to the sea and never lose your love for it. I'm leaving for now. We're watching you. <laughs> what a creepy dude. We'll be okay. Sea Blue, that group's infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporations who with big fi with big fishing businesses. Not the small fisheries that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the corporations, however. I expect they're taking bribes from something unsavory like that. Oh. Well, that looked like bad news. It won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. <clears throat> wow. Oh my god. Is that a Canada Day little treat? Chat! Happy Canada Day. Joe got me Canada cake. Tell me about this cake, my love. It's a coffee and mascarpone mousse. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Please make sure that you are saying something nice to a Canadian in your life today. Yes, mousse for Canadian, for sure. Oh. oh my goodness! And look at this little brioche thingy! Oh. So on today, you must make sure that you do something nice for a Canadian in your life. Wait, are we are we sharing both of these? Alright, so we're having half of each of these? Ooh, that little, that little rolly thing has passion fruit custard in it. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Joe said they had a summer pavlova, but she was off by one. I don't know if she was early or not. Oh, Joe says she wanted the summer pavlova. 
But the lady in front of her in line bought the last one. So she was off by one. Very heartbreaking. Say something nice to a Canadian. Hey, Serge, you've got a great chair. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Gunner. All right. So apparently this is full of passion fruit something or other. So... Mmm. Passiony. Mmm. Mmm. Happy Canada Day. You have fantastic eyebrows. You're not the first person to tell me that, AJ. It doesn't come up very often, but people are like, I don't groom them. I don't shape them. They're just naturally shaped like this. They're thick. But they're also, they're also well sculpted. I'm very proud of my eyebrows. Thank you. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I love passion fruit, sweetie. What do you mean I do? I love passion fruit. We bought something else that had passion fruit. You're like, I don't like it. Well, I didn't like that dessert. It doesn't mean I don't like passion fruit. Right. Chat, Joe's sassing me on this Canada Day. Wow. Hmm. Oh, that's some good dessert. I mean, have as much as you like. Maybe leave me some. Otherwise, don't worry about it. What happened to saying something nice to a Canadian? Oh, that's your that's your responsibility as non-Canadians. Canadians can just act as normal. Happy Canada Day, sir. Chair, you have a nice surge. There you go. Oh, I'm very happy right now. The coffee, delicious. The desserts, delicious. Everything is delicious. All right, what else can I sell? A flask for holding something. Luckily, it isn't broken. There we go. Sell some more jars. Oh. You want to see the video game? Bold. How bold of you. <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> oh my god, that was only my first dive of the day? Hmm. Alright, back down. Ahem. <clears throat> What are we doing now? Oh, I should have... Oh, crap. I forgot to check my um, quest stuff. Heck. All right. We're looking for pink shells. And uh, what else? Pink shells and kelp and stuff. Let's go that way. Oh, that's Kajime. That's not kelp. Am I pronouncing that right? I'm giving it a very, like, Japanese pronunciation. Is it just pronounced Kajim? Kajim. A couple more jellies as well. Yeah, if we go straight east. Uh, let's check here. Just the bottom real quick first. Blue. Blue, blue, blue. Ooh. 
I don't like the mini game for the shark harpoon though. Are pink shells deeper? No idea. I'll grab this while we're here. Oh. So this is, is this a new jellyfish? Barrel jellyfish. No, that is not new. Oh, we've reached the edge of the ocean. Oh, that's interesting. So let's head straight south. Uh, south now. Head straight down now. Yeah, maybe pink is deeper. Oh, there we go. which is directly above us. All right, so that's five out of five jellyfish. Oops. Let's go replenish our bullet. Oh, shark time. Oh, jeez! Well, that's terrifying. Good lord. What's up, Molson? How <laughs> goes sushi diving, I ask, as he tackles a shark? Hmm. Oh my god, is that more coffee? Oh, chat! Oh no! I'm just so spoiled by Joe. What is this? This is the hush dart. Hush dart. You're standing on a landslide. I want to capture this barracuda alive. All right, just run from it. Hold. Shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, barracuda. Yeah. All right, net gun. I think I like the net gun better. Grab another one, why not? Oh, uh, net gun doesn't work on this and I wanted one of those. Maybe this will give me a better gun. Oh, there's air here too. Let's save that after because air is also food. Is this gonna work at all or nah? Oh, it does, the poison works. Ow. Ooh, jeez. Even your butt hurts. It's very rude. Yeah, the net, it does nothing. Ow! I did it! What tier was that? Does this say tier six? Wow. Was that the last net gun if we wanted to craft it? It could have been, yeah. I wasn't paying attention to that, but that's exciting. Got some salt. Currency of Twitch chat.
Ooh, you can catch more than one. That's very exciting. All right, I want pink shells. I think this is another brown one, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, hey, this is the kelp we needed. Awesome. It literally says, oh, you're saying that like I read anything type variable. You can just tell me. You don't have to sass me. We're all friends here. <laughs> all right, let's go deeper. <gasps> Maybe I can get a live barracuda. Wait, I think I've already caught a live barracuda, right? Oh, crap. Oh, geez. I darted one this dive? Wow, I'm so efficient. Hey, Salfredo. Your name is fun to say. Thank you for using your prime here. I really appreciate that. Two minutes ago? In my defense, I can't be expected to remember anything that happened two minutes ago. Where? Do you think, that's our emergency exit, by the way. Where do you think the pink shells are? Oh yeah, if you could send supplies up via escape pod, that'd be huge, agreed. <laughs> In the ocean, technically correct. Technically correct. All right, let's see if I can't... I don't know if... Have I caught a uh, puffer fish yet? Like three star? Let's find out. What's up, Prince? Uh, that is an angler fish. I don't think I want to mess with that right now. But what if I caught it alive? This has air in it. Big fan. Uh, this has cookie. Oh my god! <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, it looks so thick! Oh my, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's purple. Uh, most other predators we've seen so far were red, but that one, that one's purple. No, 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 no. Up, north, ascend. Maybe I could use this to get out faster. Ooh, Good job me. Think of how much meat I could have gotten off of that. That's true. We could have eaten like kings. I want to get down to there and grab that, um, grab that air. That's a pink shell? No, that's a brown shell. Wait, where did you see, where did you see pink, chat? Here? This one is brown. Back further? All right, hold on, where am I going? Oh, that, that is a pink one. Nice, 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 nice. No, no. More star equals more meat. Okay, so that's that's good to know. All right, so what should I drop? I don't need any more. As far as we know, we don't need another orange starfish. I don't need another red starfish.
No, no, just stop. Leave me alone. God. Yeah. Drop the agar, but it's good for cooking. It's also not very heavy. Let's try to fish. So this one, f this one star jellyfish, I don't think we care about. Uh, that's rank two jellyfish. It's not very heavy though. Oh no, it's one kilo. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Jeez. Oh, please stop, bully. Didn't I need the fried jellyfish? Only to kill them, Zuo. Not to, I didn't need to bring them out. I only needed to defeat them. I think the way out is right here. Or at the very least, we... Oh, yeah, we've been here, and then down and to the right is the way out. Uh, I appreciate the sentiment, Smith, but typically if something bad happens to a large amount of people, uh, don't tell Twitch chat. <laughs> that's not, I don't know, that's typically not the sort of place where we have to process stuff. Like, if there's a major disaster or, like, a big event happens, I don't think chat's the place to sort of bring it up. I understand, though. Alright, let's call it, let's call it here on our day. Hey! Alright, we can now craft the net gun if we want. Ooh! New record depth. We saw that awful looking shark. Terrifying. We did kill a long nose saw shark for the first time. Right, we got more reef shark head. I guess we can make that profoundly cursed dish again, I guess. We came out of this with a lot of meat. Holy moly. Okay, let's go through our app here really quick. There we go. Starfish done. Now, I wonder if there's another quest to collect even more starfish. Let's find out. Yep. Yeah, okay. I should just be holding on to all the starfish. Because as soon as you're done one, you just get the next quest afterwards. So, overpopulated invasive fish. There you go. There's the next one. Oh, the next one is the Titan Triggerfish and the Great Barracuda. Okay. Uh, we've researched marine plants. Oh, this will let us uh, level up to Blue Hole Level 3. The Eco Poison Resist Bracelet. Where do I equip those out of curiosity? I don't know yet. All right, remove jellyfish. So presumably I have this bracelet now. Um, I just don't know where I'm supposed to equip it. The eco gemstone bracelet, okay. Just realize I have closed captions. Yep, I've had that for better part of a year now. It's a very low barrier um, accessibility feature that I can do for folks. Look at all these three stars we're getting. Go us. There's a box on the boat that you get equipped it with. Oh! Reduces damage taken by 10%. Oh my god. And increases poison resistance. Thank you. I wonder if that means that I can collect 
stuff. Oh, you can also switch out the gun that you have too. Neat. Can I not shop now? Turns out I can't. All right, yeah, let's head back to the restaurant. Oh, right, man, it's been so long. Those are like the most efficient underwater adventures we've gone on so far. And um, <laughs> it's finally time to train our staff, right? <gasps> oh, we have VIPs. <gasps> Vincent the Gourmet. Hello, viewers. This is Yui from the TV show Star the Chef. Today, I've come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the raid on Cooksta, the Bancho Sushi. In this sushi bar that's famous for its exotic sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent Yamaoka. <sighs> I am Vincent Yamaoka. <laughs> Hi, Vincent. How would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. There's only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen, how good the ingredients are, how they are stored and aged, how they are cut, how the rice was cooked, how it was molded. All those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. What? I see. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? Oh, no. The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, the particularly the belly. Oh, no. Below that, the olive flounder and amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients, you understand. Oh, no. To dare use new ingredients, despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo era. Oh, Regardless of the taste, <laughs> this shows a lack of respect. Oh. You have once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion on Bancho Sushi will be. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner, Bancho. Uh, th this is sudden. I'm called Ban... Oh, he's quite reticent. That could only mean he speaks through his cooking. Ha <laughs> ha! This sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole. And the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, what will you be trying? I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. You there, Bancho, was it? Your name. Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. <laughs> Bring me something to surprise me. Wow, Vincent offers a daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days and I'll shock you. Ooh, a standoff between a traditional gourmet and an exotic chef. Things are gonna get real interesting. We'll come to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in to Star the Chef. What are you thinking? What are you gonna do? A man does not run from a challenge. I've thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? I need sea grape and white spotted jellyfish. Oh, I think I have that. They can both be harvested in the limestone cave about 100 meters in depth. By the way, you'll need to capture it alive with either the tranquilizer gun or a net gun. All right, you're gonna make me go to suit? Sure, limestone cave, all right. This 
Sometimes a VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. Sure. I have everything else we need. All right, first things first, it's time to train our staff. So if I train her, look at this. Her serving goes from 35 to 63. I'm assuming that procure, my guess here is procure might lead to how quickly they grab stuff. I don't know, but this is a huge upgrade. So let's uh, let's do that. Kyoko is training. <gasps> Does she get a skill now? No, her skills are still locked. What if I train again? <gasps> Drink serving. Oh my god. Look at this. I mean, that's huge. All right, Kyoko better never leave me. Wait, can I keep training? Oh, you know what? All in on Kyoko. <laughs> All in. Uh, she has a little light bulb next to her head. I, I wonder if that means I'm supposed to talk to her. All right. Oh, I can research stuff. You wish you learned skills this fast? Oh, a new cutscene! Nice. So I think 95 means this is the best dish that I can make currently. Let's put it on the menu. There it is. There it is. Oh, I need that kelp for the special menu. Ah, whatever, I'll get another one. I've got two days. I've got two days and four, two days and four dives. Two days! <laughs> Enhance. Oh, another one! Let's go! Oh, he's salt made! <laughs> Yo, I can't believe we salt bait. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, I need a bunch of something. I think I can make more shark head. Let's level everything else up. Enhance. 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 <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. All right, what else can I serve here? I want, ooh, one order of the white tip reef shark sushi. Aren't you supposed to zoom in before you enhance? Oh, that's just what amateurs think. The real enhancing. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. The real enhancing is the friends we made along the way. Yeah, exactly. a good looking menu. It's a good looking menu. All right, let's see how our new server handles the day. All right, you ready? So we have a menu for the day. We've trained up our server. Let's see what happens. And I believe she can serve drinks now too. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, the food's ready. So does she look faster to you? Let's go. 
Oh my god, she's so zoomy now. Man, I'm now the worst employee at my own restaurant. Why, <laughs> like a mile? <laughs> Do you get the perfect bonus if they serve it? I don't know, it's a great question. I'm just a wasabi grinder now, yep. I need, I probably need to hire another server pretty quick. So it looks like kitchen wise, we're pumping out food fast enough. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Ooh. Oh, she doesn't want to clean. Oh, oh, all right. So I, <laughs> yeah. So you know what I'm going to be? I'm going to be that owner. I don't know how many of you worked in kitchen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. We're going to be that owner who just hangs out and chats the whole time, right? Just kind of gets in the way of their staff and just chats with the regular. That's going to be our job. And occasionally, occasionally we'll like bus a table or something like that. I'm down for this. I'll work. I'll hire my way out of a job. Yeah, we need another server. <clears throat> oh, I'm also losing customers to no seating. Oh, wait, a cutscene. Oh, no. Hey, Dave! Uh, yes, Dr. Bacon? Dave! Yes, Dr. Bacon? You want to hear the good news or the bad news? Bad news first. Oh, Dave. Aha! You're the positive type. I studied the bracelet you brought me yesterday. And it was from the sea people, as expected. So, it's an ancient artifact. The bracelet is imbued with a mysterious power. The power to move you. Here, you can wear this. What, me? I mean, I'm, I'm grateful, but why? Ah, who knows? There might be some frightening sea people curse on it. In any case, try it on first. The sea people bracelet. A bracelet-shaped artifact. Has mysterious energy that aids breathing. Survive for a seared period of time if you're out of oxygen. That sounds incredible. Wow, there's a new power inside of me. Ah, glad to hear nothing bad happened. You'll be able to check the diver box for more information about the charm you're wearing. Oh, and more great news. I've analyzed the artifacts and investigation data. I was able to find a very strong signal in the ocean depths. This was the right place. The objects didn't just float over here. I have a feeling the giant blue hole that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit to a great sea people sight. A lucky opportunity. That just sounds like I have to risk my life again. So what's the bad news? Oh, in order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Deliveries have stopped right now for some reason, so getting one is out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one. He has all sorts of things. Hey, you're right. Try contacting Duff first, will you? Goodbye. Hey, what's up, Lysander? I don't remember the last time I was poisoned. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go here real quick. Yeah, that's maxed out. Cookstagram. Gotta make sure we like everybody. Oh, oh. To think something this amazingly underneath the sea. Shocking. This calls for more sushi. 
Hashtag lucky day. Hashtag merman relic. Hashtag underwater civilization. Hashtag lucky lucky. All right, so I need the small net gun or, oh, you need orange starfish to make a hush gun? That's fine. Let's make the net gun. Oh, yo, get ready. All right, uh, now let's give, let's give Duff a call. Ah! Why are you so angry, Duff? I ordered a limited edition Leah Chan figurine, but it hasn't come for over a week. Would you believe it? It's got a serial number and a limited edition only art book. Oh, calm down. Everyone seems upset with the deliveries having stopped. I think there must have been some kind of accident. Mm. To see what's going on, I will need the deep sea headlamp. Mm. Oh, who? Well, of course I have one of those in my safe storage. Yeah. But I can't give it to you for free. No, there's a condition. Yeah. I think I know what's coming. Yeah. That's right. Find my Leah Chan figurine. Yeah. It's in a pink delivery box and you'll know it when you see it. Yeah. I requested special care for the package. It shouldn't have washed away. Yeah. If the ship carrying it sank, it's likely to be somewhere nearby. Find it for me, and I'll give you a headlamp. <laughs> All right, I'll first have to find the location of the sunken transport ship. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Why are we also their social media guy? Uh, we're being just a little bit taken advantage of, Avery. All right, uh, so let's make sure that we have the... Okay, the neck gun is equipped, which is good. Uh, let's check the eye diver for some stats. And I'm gonna upgrade our oxygen tank. All right, so for the special quest on the calendar, um, we need, oh, it doesn't tell us what we need. We need a jellyfish and kelp, which is fine. We're being paid in sushi and exposure. <laughs> yeah, exposure to dangerous sea life, absolutely. I think that's everything. Now, really quick, on EcoWatch, we need more of basically everything. So if it's sea grape or seaweed, we want it. We need to kill jellyfish. Uh, we need to kill predators. And we need to get basically all of the starfish. So starfish, and it looks like we basically want all of the shells. Because it looks like as soon as we're done with the first shell, we're going to get more of the second shell anyways, right? So let's just start collecting all of them. All right. Yeet. Oh, right. Yeah, the white spotted jellyfish. There we go. Are we playing a shell game? I guess so. Fish gang. I can't believe this is still only chapter one, eh? <gasps> no, the dolphins. Hey, why do you keep bothering these dolphins? So you're the one who keeps interrupting our plans. I can tell by your silhouette. You need to be taught a lesson. Am I gonna have to fight pirates? I, uh, oh. Oh, uh. Good thing I have my net gun. Wait. of a banger soundtrack here, eh? The 
poke you in the butt. I like that it gave us lots of ammo, just in case. Shing! Man, we should have done the thing like in that James Bond movie where we just go up and we cut like their oxygen tank, you know what I mean? Now, where's our katana? Good call. We're retreating! You'll hear from us again! Yeah, you get out of here, pirate scum. Except for you. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, dolphin friends. <clears throat> oh, they did the heart again. What do we get this time? The rusty dolphin necklace. All right. Okay. Hey, Rock Pusher. Thank you for the full stack. The 64. Oh, we got the bonk hammer again. Yes. Going into the limestone cave in search of the rare white jellyfish. I think it's here, right? Ooh. Ha, you fool. Got an angler fish at, at three stars. Let's go. That's a good get. So we're looking for the jellyfish now, right? No, bad. I think down. I think this is the limestone cave we're looking for. Oh, there we go. Um. Oh, there's one. Alright, GG! Okay, other things we're looking for are... Uh, probably more pink shells. What else are we doing? Pink shells... Um... I guess more greenery. This is good. Needed kelp. Yeah, we always need more kelp. That one's purple now, and I don't know why that is. Duff's box? Oh, right, Duff's box. Thank you. Um, I guess that's just generically deep, but we don't know necessarily where. Every little bit will kelp. That's fair. So many predators all in one place. Leave me alone. I wonder if this does anything to the shark.
Let's find out. The range? There. Oh my god, it is gonna work! We can tranquilize a shark? Uh, oh, it appears to have worn off. I want to try. What if I shoot it twice? Okay. It only has three bullets. If it doesn't work on three, it's not going to work. Ooh! Oh, it's too big! That's very upsetting. Boo. Uh, that's the shipwreck. I need oxygen, please. Yes, I'm aware I'm running out of air. Where's the air at? Close? Nah, I wasn't worried. Never scurred. Oxygen tank. Ooh, we got the katana. No, no, no. I wanna I wanna keep the um the sleepy toy hammer. Gives us a chance to catch more three star fish. So I thought that was the shipwreck over there, but maybe it's not. Clearly it's not. Oh, that was one star, because it has two HP. Got it. Toy is really quite something, eh? <laughs> Black vinegar. Okay. I think I caught one of those as three star already. So I thought this was the shipwreck. So when it says investigate the shipwreck, right? Like why, why aren't I finding anything here? I guess I was here last time. I panicked because I was out of Whatever, right? Okay. Hmm. That looks more like a dinghy than a shipwreck. That's fair. This game is so good, Lysander. This game is so good. It's 
So I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, to be honest. Let's just keep going deeper and see if we can not find that shipwreck. Well, I mean, we're getting lots of stuff, right? And that's all good. We're getting lots of fish. What about to the right and down further where that shark was? I thought we went all the way over there. Apparently not. I'm kind of going in, well, it's obviously not circles because this is not a sort of space that that works, but hmm. All right, what's this? Fire harpoon, no thank you. All right, let's go deeper. Oh! Nope, this is another shipwreck, but not the shipwreck. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, trigger bomb trap. That's new. I've got one spare air on. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to be like, I'm starting to get low on air. More air? Nice. Okay, now I'm feeling very safe. Hey, there it is. Um, I don't... Have we unlocked the sniper rifle yet? I don't think we have. So I'm going to take that. Because I think that's going to allow us to um, unlock it now. Oh, I can't... This is not transparent. I have to go around it. I also like that whenever you find... Oh! Oh. There it is! My precious... My precious Leah-chan! Bring it to me. Finish your mission! No, I was... No! No! <sighs> Leah-chan! Leah-chan, no! <laughs> what was that? My Leah-chan! She disappeared into the unfathomable depths! <laughs> it seems some kind of giant light form. Go and retrieve her! That That's obviously dangerous. <laughs> Besides, the doors on the ship are all locked and I can't get inside. Do you really think I didn't think of that before contact concocting Leah Chan's rescue plan? Yeah. I'll provide you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Even at this moment, Leah Chan awaits her master. A little weird. Come to the boat, will you? This guy is incorrigible. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Incorrigible? Alright, anyways, I'm at the boat. Do I cut my way through the glass? Sorry, what did he what am I supposed to do? I was getting too carried away with, um, oh, go back up for the cutter? Yeah. Oh, the Atlantic mackerel. That's a new friend. Welcome. All right. The exit's right here, but let's keep hanging out for a bit, you know? <gasps> Pink shells! You didn't actually enormous snurge? That shark is huge, okay? I don't care if you've seen bigger. It's 
Snurge is like, um, actually, I have seen larger sharks before. I'm like, Snurge, you're not helping, my dude. Alright, I think we can get out of here now. Was that the last fossil piece as well? That's huge. Hi, Hosk. How you doing? Do you uh, come around here often? You know, 120 meters below sea level? With large predators? Alright, let's grab whatever else is around here. The scrap metal. Maybe a couple of these fish. Ugh, you're too fast. Like a fish in water. Alright, GG. The seahorsen are decorative. For now, I cannot grab them. Um, yes, my love? Oh, Joe says, as they should be. She thinks of them as friends, not food. I'm still having trouble calming down, just like Leah Chan did when she first came face to face with Fenrir. Since you have found a location, I will reward you for it. I like to do honest dealings. Yeah. Now then, let's begin Operation Rescue Leia Chan. Take this gas cutter. Sure. You'll see a spot that can be cut when you reach the ship. There will be a prompt button. Cut the weak points to the iron door and you will be able to enter the ship. Yeah. Retrieve the pink delivery box that has Leia Chan from inside of the ship. Should be simpler than you think. Yeah. But I saw a huge tentacle taking the ship. It seems extremely dangerous. Do you mean to say that it's okay for Leia Chan to expire in the darkness down there? This mission must not be delayed for a moment longer. Okay, I get it. I'll, I'll go. Switch back to a gun. Excellent idea. How about this red sniper rifle? <laughs> new records for literally everything. That feels kind of good. Ooh, I don't know what that is. But that's new. <gasps> the dolphin charm. Oh, that's what it is. The necklace received after helping out the dolphin couple increases dash speed by 30%. Oh. You can wear the dolphin necklace to move faster. Keep in mind that oxygen will be used up too. Hmm. Bew, 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 bew. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo, boo. Let's replace. Oh, wait. Um, let's do some quests here. First order of business research fossils. Research shells. So we need starfish, we need predators, we need seaweed and jellyfish. And oh my god, way more, way more fossils. And seven more pink shells? Dang it. Alright, let's check out the marine thing here. Look at this. We got so many three stars with that bonk hammer. One, two, three, four, five, five new. Wait. Six, seven new three stars. That's the new fish we caught was the Atlantic mackerel. Eight. Right. I forgot that we bonked the angler fish as well. Huge. Big, big get. All right. Craftable. All right. Get ready, friends. It's time for Commander Sisters. Charming. Oh. <gasps> A new video? <laughs> Incredible. Oh, there we go. We need more iron ore. Normal fish tranquilizes. Okay.
What is needed for the darn? It looks like we can make it right now. I just don't need it right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, harpoon gun, melee weapon. I think I might actually, if I can afford it, upgrade my harpoon gun. Can't afford it. $700 I do. Maybe I can sell some stuff. Spotted jellyfish tentacle. The pearl sold for a hundred, the gold bar sold for five hundred. Uh, anything else I need to know before we go back down underwater? I I think we're doing pretty good here, right? All our quests are fine. Like, we're, we're I think we're far enough away that we just kind of grab everything, right? We don't really need to focus on anything in particular. Yeah. Quests are good. Alright, let's just do plot stuff right now. So I think it's on the left side and it's straight down. <gasps> there it is, the tiger shark. Three to four meters long, blue skin, white belly, stripes on the body. 350 meters in tropical and subtropical ocean. Okay, we're gonna grab all this though. Did we get all the things we needed for the VIP? Yep, right there. You can see on the left side. Uh, we will grab that food while we're here. I guess maybe I shouldn't grab too much out stuff in case there is good stuff in the ship. It's an important thought. All right. <clears throat> yeah, let's not fill up on too much stuff. Gun boost? Did I just one-shot that thing? Oh my god. We could drop that fish if we need to make room. It is a sniper rifle, truly. I hope this has... Air. Nice. Nice. Uh, boxing gloves? Gloves for boxing, stuff with cotton, and they deal extra damage, and I get to do a combo? Sure. But you've never tried to box a fish before, chat? Turn on the cutter and use the mouse to move, keep your movement inside of the circle. mistake. I took my finger off and it wouldn't let me start again. It's only good. It's not perfect. Oh, okay. Oh ho! I was in too much of a hurry to properly tell you how to use it, but you figured it out. Go through the open door. Leia-chan, 
your master is coming. I, this is so weird. All right, get ready for spoops. We're in the ship. Oh, oh, we're just on the other side. The space below is larger than expected. Take a look around, Dave. Alright, I hope there's an upgrade in here. No. There's air there too, or as well. See something down over that side. <gasps> a sweet katana. Ooh, it's a sharp one. Okay, I'm gonna replace it. Shing! Definitely looks like there's a crowbar in there, but that's fine. All right. Uh, brace, brace for spoops. Hi, Kane. Thank you for 32 months. There it is. The pink delivery box with Leia Chan inside. But more importantly, there's also a giant squid. Yeah. Ah, there's our culprit. I guess that's a good thing when it sees it. Wait, I guess it knows a good thing when it sees it, even if it's a giant squid. It seems to be asleep. Sneak up and bring it back quietly. Oh. I guess I'll try and approach it quiet. How do you even approach things quietly underwater? <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> All right, boss fight, I guess? Ow. It's awake! Dave, don't chicken out now. Use the gun I gave you. The harpoon will be of no use. Yeah. Leia Chan, we're coming. <sighs> oh my God. Haha! Uh -huh. Oh god. No. <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> Were those sea people just now? Yeah. What do you mean? All I can see is the pink delivery box. <laughs> Bring it to me quickly. I'm awaiting its rescue. box is pinned under the squid tentacle. I'll have to cut it away. I wonder if it's edible. <laughs> That's the one. Quickly, to the boat. I'm so relieved, my Leia-chan. This is going to be the fanciest calamari chat. Hey, Jojo. Talk about my water, please, and thank you. There she is. It's Leia-chan. 
To think she hasn't been damaged. Oh, but there is salt water everywhere. Uh, a promise is a promise. <laughs> Here you go, the deep sea headlamp. It's a recent model that turns on automatically as necessary. I must go help Leia Chan recover. Goodbye, eternity. Well, I guess that's over. Come to think of it, I did bring this. What am I gonna do with this giant squid tentacle? It smells awful. What if we can cook it? Thank you, sweetie. So we wanted another server, is that correct? I think we need another server. All right, back to the restaurant. Uh, am I happy with the sniper rifle? Maybe? Giant squid tooth, cool. Yeah, the cooks seem like they're doing a good enough job. Oh, I need to call uh, Banco first, Bancho first. Hello? What is it, Dave? I was helping Duff and I defeated a giant squid. That That's incredible? I couldn't bring the whole thing, so I cut off a bit of the tentacle. You think it's edible? I, yeah? The ammonium chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench, however. And because it's tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers. Anyway, why don't we close up shop for a day and hold a party with the squid? What about the VIP? I've been so busy since we opened. I haven't treated you any proper food despite your hard work. Hey, finally some recognition. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Let me clean it up a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Dr. Baker will be there as well. So I can tell him about the fish people. Giant squid dish. Exciting. You only get one star from gun? Yeah, but I can't capture shark anyways. And being able to take them out seems important. Look, the gang's all here. And we got the giant tentacles. Oh my god. There's Dr. Bacon. And there's Meow Meow. Dave, you're late. Everyone's been waiting on you. How could I be late? I had the ingredients. I guess we did get out of our wetsuit. So that's fair. Wow, you finished all the cooking already. Mm. When did everyone arrive, though? A party with customers? There's been a lot of progress. Very good. Has there? Restaurants should put their customers first. Food, drink, service. The customers are the basic foundation of any restaurant. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef in his cooking. Oh, I was also here from the beginning. Ah, uh, yeah, but you weren't very noticeable. <laughs> Do you remember what I told you back then about the reviews on Cooksta? You said there wasn't any mention of me. But now people do mention you, albeit rarely. Oh, no. Dave! They say things like, he poured me tea. He was working hard on preparing wasabi. He looked busy. He was friendly. Oh, the customers are recognizing your hard work. Well, that makes me feel good. Customers are honest and intuitive, more so than you think. They know that if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. That's why I find this moment hard to believe, to think that the obstinate band show was working with people and holding parties. I think it's all thanks to you, Dave. Hey, hey, right on. That makes me wonder what he was like in the past. I can't divulge details about someone else's past. But maybe someday, if the opportunity presents itself, I might be able to tell you. Hey, Dave! Congrats! Word of Bancho Sushi's getting around. He looks to be in a good mood. Look at this squid! It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. 
I'll bet more people will flock here if such things are offered on the menu. <laughs> Aren't we eating this because it's difficult to serve customers, though? Hey, you're right. What a pity. Everyone will want to try something that looks like this, regardless of the flavor. Or, what? There's no way Bancho would stomach that. Let's go with something else. All right. Depths. I have a feeling things are going down there. Things that'll make people jump out of their seats. If Dr. Bacon's research is successful, this place will be filled with famous people. Yeah, you're right. When that happens, we'll make lots of money. Keep out of Dave. Let's get rich together. <laughs> Hey, Bacon. Oh, Dave, what is it? I saw sea people down below. What? You really saw sea people? And not dugongs? What did they look like? Were they dressed? Did they resemble humans? Uh, their torso looked like our own. And the sight of me scared them off into the depths. I couldn't get a good look. That's too bad. It could have been an amazing find. That means we encountered them in the depths. That's where the signal is the strongest. Perhaps there's even a village. Village? Yeah! They have artifacts and murals, a language. They are beings with a unique civilization. It would not be surprising in the least for them to live together in a village. That'd be quite the find. An ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us. Dave, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. A giant squid tentacle. It really is an ingredient that's difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. You're still studying the ingredients. Good work today, bringing back precious ingredients. This is a difficult sort to prepare, but that's the fun part of cooking. How does it taste? Food's always been great, but today's even more spectacular. Since there was a lot of it, I made many different dishes that we won't be able to offer these to customers. There's no end to the path of a chef. It's a fortunate thing to have to pursue. The same can be said from studying ingredients. Dave, please keep persevering and one day we'll succeed. Not sure what you mean. Sure! I'll bring back more fish. Good old simple Dave. Pick up beer. <laughs> ah, the good stuff. Bancho's food is nice. I can understand the growing popularity of this restaurant. Or maybe it's because I caught the fish. In any case, there's a lot of stuff going on. A giant squid. Sea people, there's no end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. I suppose I'll go even deeper tomorrow. I wonder what I'll find. Ah, whatever. Think about it tomorrow. Time to toast. Wow. Ah. <gasps> Oh no! <clears throat> well, well, well. Alright, well I think that's as good a place to end it as any today. If I can. Oh, hold on. I Hey, I uh, drank too much. I feel sick. Excited. Yeah. Blip. Throwing up off the edge. All right, telling us to go deeper. Yeah, we've been live for six hours. This game is so much fun today. This has been absolutely delightful. <laughs> Chapter two. All right, uh, settings. Can I save? Save. Ooh. There we go. The start of chapter two. Yeah, I have nobody, no idea how many other chapters there are. Uh, how do I leave? Save and return to title. There we go. Hey, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This has been absolutely delightful. I'm excited to play more of this tomorrow. So if you're having fun, come on back then. Also, happy Canada Day. If you haven't done so yet, find a Canadian and do something nice for them. Oh, Joe's even handing out poutine points for Dave. I'm, I knew I was going to like this game. I didn't know I was going to like this game this much. This has been so much fun so far. Just absolutely, absolutely delightful. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new and you're digging the vibes, give a follow. I'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific uh, with more of this. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out.
Uh, have a wonderful Canada Day for those of you who celebrate. And let's go find a good Canadian creator to go support. <laughs> uh, let's raid our good friend Benjamin Wheeler. So my boy Wheeler is playing some Magic the Gathering. I like Wheeler a lot. He will say bad words though, like butts. So just be aware, not quite the same family friendly vibe, but um, I like him a lot and hopefully you will too. All right, go make a new friend. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.